Hey, hey, Sangria. Hope you're sorry. This is your boy, N-O-R-E. What up? It's DJ E-F-N. And this is the Drink Chats motherfucking podcast. Make, Make some fun, you know. Holy mother. Yo, right now. No air horn or nothing. Oh, shit. My bad. <laughs> I ain't gonna front. You better with the hair or horn than me. <laughs> Come on. Spray it. Spray it. Spray it. Ah. Uh, now, right now. We <laughs> have legends a, in the motherfucking building. We have a super duper legend. I want to say he's the first Oakland rapper. I want to say he's the first person because I because when I when when I heard out, I found out that he was actually from South Central first. But we're gonna get into that Damn, I later. But the first person, he's the guy who single handedly made be a bitch. What's my favorite word? Piazza. I don't know why. Every time I say bitch, <laughs> I, I grab my collar. collar. I don't know why. Like that, this is how much it is. The hyphy movement, everything derived from this guy. He's the Keeps first person. himself. He's the first. And on the East Coast, especially in New York, he's the first person that we saluted as the first pimp in rap. Mm. The first person that made people bow down. The first person that made bitch cool, actually. And he's a motherfucking legend. And every promoter I ever speak to or I ever talk to, they say Short is the easiest person to work with because he's just coming in there. He's just spitting, pimping. Let's make some noise for fucking Too Short! Yeah. <laughs> too Short, first off, let me just thank you, man, for being yeah, a part of this, up. man. You know what I mean? Um, we only interview on Legends. That's what we're doing. And Too Short, you was the first person to make bitch famous. How did that happen? Well, you know, uh, like you mentioned a minute ago, uh, I did really grow up in uh, South Central L.A. South Central. Let's make some noise for South Central. Yeah. God damn it. Uh -huh. So, um, you know, I got a good colorful childhood. I seen it all. You know what I'm saying? So you was gang banging and nah, pimping. Nah, nah, nah. You never little, gang banged. Little nigga in the set. My older brother was banging, but, you know. Right. You never repped it, that. It, I, I keep you real close to it. So I'm, I'm right. in there. We, you know, all my cousins, we live all over the city. You know, the, the hood mm. and shit. Real, mm. real colorful, you know, upbringing. Just seeing what was right. going on in the city like L.A., in right. the early, mid-70s, late 70s. And um, I moved to Oakland right after ninth grade. Mm, how old you, was you? I was, I was 14. Okay. And then you would, um, you would think, oh, California, California, and just, just moving up the street. But it's, right. it's like... Yeah, totally it was different. a totally different world. It's probably like a kid from New York moving upstate or something. Like, yeah. the, the difference. Or, or moving like Philly or something like so that. So, okay, I get to the Bay, it's a whole different world. Because they and pimping. It's, it's, and it's like, it's, it's like even more colorful and more... Out just out there in front of you, where you know you um, it, it just got a little more personal for me. I'm coming. I'm so, coming. So, of age so you too. left. You left South Central at mm -hmm. 14. Mm -hmm. So you like almost a almost a grown man, and then now you come to the Pampian because that's this is the yeah, pimping and, and country. And LA is like real territorial. LA at that time right. is like you know even to this day it's like from in you in the inner city. Uh -huh. It's like from neighborhood to neighborhood, uh -huh. the, the faces, the, you know, who's running this shit and, right. and where you're supposed to be and not block supposed to, to be. Right. You hit the wrong block, you now, fuck. Now, where from in L.A. was that? I'm a 80th in Normandy. I know South, oh my God, Normandy and, is where the riots And, and, and then my first cousin's on 84th and Hoover. Oh so, my God. Just, that's super, just, and that's super not, Crip, that's, that's Crip neighborhood, yeah, it's right? Crip, but that's not yeah. very fucking far away, okay. but it, it was like... It was like two a, different to to travel that away. there to there. You got to know your motherfucking route because they're gonna take right. your bike. They're gonna take something <laughs> if you hit the wrong <laughs> block. So I get to Oakland, and mm -hmm. it's not it's not really about little packs of gangs, and it's mm. not about blue or red. It's not about the neighborhood so much. It was just like who's getting money, who's Ooh. who's. However, so in now o how far in Oakland was Fillmore Street? Because that's the that's the first thing I heard about in Oakland, Fillmore Street. Fillmore on the, in West Oakland. Um. Uh, is that is that when I Phil, Phil Philbert is in West Oakland? I'm, uh, Fillmore is the, is a neighborhood in San Francisco. The oh, okay, okay, okay. okay, okay. Break the, that the, down for the, us. Yeah, the Fillmore is a, is a very historical neighborhood too. Okay. Oakland has a lot of history. Okay, you, you know you got different parts of the Bay. The mm. Bay, uh, you look at the Bay like you look at the five boroughs of New York. It's different sides of the Bay. E40 right. and them over there from Vallejo. Vallejo. It's okay. a little town called East Palo Alto. They got a lot, right. you know, a lot of backbone. It's right. um. You know, San Francisco got a couple of little neighborhoods over there. Right. Uh, Hunt, Hunters Point and Philmo and Sunnydale. Uh -huh. and they, you know, they're they real reputable neighborhoods. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I'm from East Oakland. I got mine from the east side. So I show up, and I'm just being a sponge, man. It's a new place. I'm looking around. I, you know, I go to Fremont High School and shit, and it's like right. I go to school. Right. And there's a nigga named Frank the Bank who's pimping. He's a 12th grader pimping. Hold on. Let's make some noise for Frank, Frank the, the Bank. Frank the Bank. Come here, come here, come here. 
pimping. Uh huh. And one of his hoes in high to, school. Yeah, one of his hoes go to the school too. Okay. <laughs> so I, I'm in this city right. now. I'm like, wow. Right. So it's right. like this nigga got another hoe come show up after school every day and pick him him and up him right. and the young hoe up. Right. And they go to work. So it's like right. it was that type of environment, man. You got cats riding around in like limousines. Mm. This nigga's driving a limousine. If he rolled the back window down, it's like five hoes back there, mm. and them his hoes. And He's not the, the driver. So and that's the first time you coming from South Central. And that's the first time you've seen Pimp in. Yeah, and then at the same time, it's like Oakland was a lot different, man. It was like niggas was doing like car bombs and shit. Mm. Damn. And, and Let me stop you. Car, what, do you what do you mean by car bombs? What niggas was blowing each other's cars up whoa. while they was at war. Or like some not, Bin Laden shit. Fucking drive by, they blow your car up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They chop your body up and put you in a plastic bag on the side of the road. It was, it was going down. They was doing mafia shit. What is wow. this, late 70s, early 80s? It's like Felix Mitchell. You ever heard of Felix Mitchell? It's yeah, I did shit. heard of it. But, th but this is not Spanish gangs, right? No, no, no. 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 Oh, this is before the Spanish it, it's gangs. This is black dudes. Oh, wow. This, this is the, the mob. They call themselves wow. the mob, too. But it, it was just, it was different than the gang, the blue and red. People don't know that um, on the West Coast, to this day, uh -huh. you got the L.A. Cats. They went to um, San Diego, uh -huh. uh, Sacramento, uh -huh. Denver, every, Salt every, Lake, every, every city he Las named, Vegas. I keep wanting to pop my collar. Every time you say name it, go ahead. Las go ahead. Vegas, um, <laughs> go Phoenix, ahead. Arizona. Go they ahead. went to all these cities. Go ahead. Good thing Seattle, Washington, that. Portland, Oregon, and yeah. they converted motherfuckers into being Crips and Blood. So it's all up and down the West. You never found that shit in the Bay. The Bay was like, we don't get it, we don't want it. And then, you know, even though. Because even the Spanish gangs, they might. Like fly a color, but they ain't banging. Well, they was doing the north and south shit. Too. It ain't, yeah. the, it ain't the same science as Crips and Bloods in L.A. Right. Like, like a lot of cities right. are. Like you got Chicago niggas that go around away from Chicago and convert yeah. niggas into vice lords and GDs and right. everything. You know, it, it just didn't take to the bay. Right. Blue and red and all that right. shit. So I'm I'm just taking this shit in at, as this new cat in the city, uh -huh. and I start rapping. Just fucking around on the mic. All my all my early raps, like 1980, 81, my shit was like kind of like whatever, whatever I was getting from like Sugar Hill Records or something. Just that vibe about you know the party and shit and all that shit. So I'm rapping in different people's instrumentals. And then the one thing that changed everything for me was uh when I first heard the message. Uh, mm. And I sat there. I'm walking down the street. I, I remember I had my radio and all Don't I could take me. But I'm listening to this record. To I've been bumping hip hop for about three years at the time. And wow. I'm listening to this record, and I could clear as day picture New York City. Because mm. the nigga was describing it. Had you in been song. in New York at that time? Never. Okay, continue. So I, I can see New York. We wasn't doing videos and shit back right. then. You just, you just listen to the right. music. So the nigga right. was giving me New York. Right. And I just had the ideal of a lifetime. I'm mm. about to give these niggas Oakland. So, right. so my upbringing in LA. And then moving to Oakland and taking it in like a, like a canvas or something like, you know, and, and absorbing it, right. you know, something that I didn't receive from birth. I just came into it. Right. I, I started writing about it. It, was, it became like my muse, the city of Oakland. Mm. And even later in life, I could get stuck in the studio mm. and just think of some crazy shit I've seen in Oakland, some shit I heard in Oakland, some shit I think about Oakland and just start writing. The shit just made me write songs. So, so what was the name of the first album again out? Don't stop rapping, and I, I named it that for a reason. <laughs> and you didn't stop rapping. High five! <laughs> high five! Rapping. High five! <laughs> make some noise for him not yeah. stopping rapping. Yeah. 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 So so short. Sure. Yeah. That's crazy. That is crazy. So and what what year did that drop? 1985. 1985. I was born in 1977. Just mm -hmm. so you know. So if I don't, if I know that, you know I'm a big fan. I've always been a big fan of you. You was raping Jive for a long time. Mm -hmm. Come on, let's, let's, let's salute to that. Cheers. Rape Jive. Going on those crazy yeah. tours yeah, yeah, too, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck Jive. You, really? you saw that Planet Rock documentary? Yeah. Mm. The, the, the relationship between uh, crack cocaine and hip hop. Mm. It's just, uh, is that that's not the, the that documentary was, on VH1? It was either VH1 or BC. I think it's VH1. Okay. Planet okay. Rock. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they were just VH1, talking about VH1. Yeah. The, throughout the history of hip hop and how uh -huh. the cocaine yep. and the crack. Mm. I'm from that shit. Because the 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 way that people say uh um uh, uh and uh Freeway Rick Ross uh -huh. is they say that crack cocaine invented in Oakland. No, it was LA, but then it can't. They used cities like Oakland to kind of like to test actually out the market. Distribute it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We was so we was, so how 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 was that like seeing. The city coming from South Central, going to Oakland, and then you seeing it not having crack, mm -hmm. and then now crack explodes. So first and foremost, I gotta say, I never saw dope in my life. Whoa, I, let's I, make some noise for Chuchar. No, I'm so dope. Come on. 
Yeah, you sold a lot of pussy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> but that yeah. being said, um, so before '85, before like '84, '85, you know, um, you remember that shit? It was uh-huh. like. A nigga, a nigga can be like what I call nigga rich, man. You might just your, your hustle I like might nigga rich. your yeah. hustle might only back then might have got you like three, four, five grand, but you had a car. Mm. You mm. always had a, a, a wide with a rubber band. You, mm. you, you was you was balling, mm. and the crack changed that shit. I remember, I remember the crack did a few things, man. Because I heard Oakland was like not Oakland, but I mean <laughs> uh, that area was yeah. a great area. Yeah, like uh, prior to the drugs. Yeah, actually you could hit. you could move around a little bit. It wasn't too fucking dangerous if you. And you knew Freeway Rick Ross. Uh, later on. Later on. Okay, yeah. continue. But um, uh-huh. it's the kind of place where you could, you had to get yourself in some trouble. You, mm. If you if you did it, if you asked for it, you was gonna get it to the fullest, right. appro- right. appropriately. But after the crack, you would notice like uh. And you you know this shit too. Um, it would be like little niggas, mm. the little niggas that used to probably like couldn't fight too good and shit, and, mm, and it wasn't like shit. no. These little niggas was respected now. They got oh. that money, that sack, and they got a couple soldiers, and they're like this little nigga's a boss now. Like mm. two three years into it, like this nigga's a kingpin, mm. and it just changed Off the up. Crack. You know, we didn't before the crack. We didn't have a. Uh, handguns that could shoot 17 bullets. Mm. You know what I'm saying? At the most, you might get shoot six shots mm. and a motherfucker, you know, tell you why you got shot. Right. After the crack, you don't know why you got shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they get was you high se- as hell. 17, and that's just if it's a handgun. So, so you, it, Do you believe the story that the CIA actually did true? that? It started well, like... Well, that, that's a good version uh, uh, that is true. Right. But the bigger version now is the whole big story of the whole mass incarceration thing. Yeah. That, mm. that the whole shit was a scam. It's a business. Mm. So that is damn near like we we all this shit we call coke rap. We damn right. near like we we fell for the trap, you know? They, right. They call what they sell dope in a spot called the trap. Right. That I mean it says it all. <laughs> so 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 listen, I want to get into the pimping thing because yeah. you know why I want to get into the pimping thing because I don't give a fuck what any NYC nigga tell you. Mm-hmm. We didn't know anything about no pimping. Until we heard you talking about it. When you heard you talking about it, then we seen Bishop Don Juan. We seen the, you know, the players, uh, uh, players ball. We seen all that. Come on, he stopped the phone. But fuck it, leave the that's, phone that's in the, there. That's it's the a great, great. That's the so, calling. That's the CIA calling us right now. So 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 so. so, so when was the first time you was introduced to pimping, and then how did you realize that that was that was gonna be your life? All right. Well, my infatuation uh-huh. started with the, the movies of the seventies because they put it in mm, there so much. Superfly. And then. Like I said, my cousins lived on 84th and Hoover. If you go to the other end of the block, you're on Figueroa. And that's where it goes well, 84th down. 84th and Hoover, that's in L.A.? That's now? in L.A. Okay, go ahead. So then when I get to Oakland, I see these niggas riding around limousines with hoes. This nigga getting picked up in school from his hoes. And, and limousines, just, like, limousines like, the like, 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 like the Maybach. It was like the Maybach back then. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then me and my little homie, would go down to uh, San Pablo where they, they used to sell mm. pussy and then prior to crack. Right. They looked like a fucking modeling runway and shit. Mm-hmm. Hoes, hoes were beautiful. <laughs> right. So, prior to crack. Yeah, so <laughs> prior to crack, Go ahead. yeah, because you know, crack gave ho- pimping and hoeing right. like this ugly ass image. A lot right. of pimps right. got smoked out, a lot of hoes got smoked out, and then it was like, well, then we start saying shit like crack whores. Before mm. that, your bitch had to be a superstar. Mm. And even to this day, I I, I want to uh, shout out some of my young pimping homies right now. Yeah, shout them out. They pimping on some dime pieces that you would never think was a shout hoe. Them and that out. Bitch is shout getting, them out, shout them out, y'all. That bitch is not making three hundred dollars when she laid mm. down. She's bringing in a thousand. She's bringing in mm. thousands. You know, it's, it's, it's some mm. hoes out there on some major routes right now. So uh. just to keep the pimping alive, don't 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 get it keep twisted. Keep the pimping alive. I, I, I keep popping my collar. I ain't gonna lie. These, Every time we talk, I keep popping my collar. These I'm young sorry, niggas y'all. is not wearing suits and ties <laughs> with matching <laughs> shoes. Fuck they social media pimping. They look like rap. Rappers, right, 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 right. Money. So, right. So I um I seen this shit, man. And I started I started diving a little more into it. My thing with rapping after I heard the message was let's use the lingo of the streets, the new sl- slang words that come out, the shit that's really happening. Like let's talk about these streets, mm. and then it just evolved into, you know, let's talk about this game, and we just started right. like people just you, you you would rap about shit and you would see what motherfuckers was interested in. They right. wanted to hear that real shit. Right. So. Somewhere down the line, I had a I had a line in one of my songs. I want to pass you the blunt. I don't know if you smoke. Yeah. Oh shit! Oh I shit! A, I had I'm a smoking line. the blunt with too yeah. short. Make some noise! Yeah. Roll another one, nigga. I was about Come to say on. that. I was about to say roll another one. But, uh, All right, cool, cool, cool. My bad. I didn't know you smoked short. At a young age, I was about 15, 16, I wrote this this right. one line. It said, um, it said, I had sixteen hoes sucking ten toes. And uh. that you can bet, like it was just a line. Right. And every time I said that in the song, motherfuckers laughed. Right. So I sat down by myself and said, let me 
write a song about each of these 16 hoes and how I met them. Huh. Mm. And that was the early version of my song that came to be real popular called Freaky Tales. Right. And I had a song about these 16 hoes, how I met them. I met this hoe, so, you know? Right. And it just started being more and more pimp, and I just started digging into the game. Mm -hmm. And you, uh, you got out, you know, you got the Donald Goins books. <laughs> You listen. You got um, okay. you know, uh, Iceberg Slim, Iceberg Slim, the story of my life. Donald Goins, Fillmore some, Slim. Some of those books got some real game up in them. Real game. I read this book called uh, Broad Players. It's not very popular, but that motherfucker just is just big pimping. Right. And I started. It just come to me, man. You get these ideas as a writer, and I'm right. like, damn, that'd be a cold as fuck to just like t tell this. I gotta pimping. tell you a story, short. One time I met Bishop Don Juan. He took. <laughs> he invited me to a joint, right, and then. And then, so for, for, for parties, a week, party? for a week I was pimping, like for just one week, <laughs> just one week, right? Just one week. You was a pimp, or you yeah. was just pimp? No, I, I, I swore <laughs> I was pimping, right? So this white bitch come up to me, and I said, "You bitch, you gotta choose." And she chose. <laughs> she chose me. I ain't know what to do after that. Like after that, she, she, short. Can you? Can you? Can you? What was I? What, <laughs> you okay, what, your head. Yeah, I started, she chose me, I and then I said, "Oh, the shit. science of the, the who, <laughs> what, where, and why." And the shit right. is like it's like any other business, man. Right. Why is this woman going to sell her body and give you the money? Right. And, you know, it, you put yourself in sort of like a manager role. You kind of like a, um, kind of like her fucking, fucking um, therapist and shit, you know? Because right. the bitch is going to be crazy as hell. And yeah, you got you, you to gotta bring it back around every night. Because a real pimp got to be real smart. Let's just keep it real, But then right? the, main, the main secret, I think, that I learned about pimping, that one uh -huh. that, the one that lets you go home and kick your ass back while she's out there working, uh -huh. is she got to be home for a purpose. And mm. you gotta give her a purpose. Let's make some noise for whore and for a purpose. <laughs> God damn it, stop, stop giving that pussy away for no reason. Go ahead, go ahead. Keep so, I, I mean, it's anything in life, man. If you're not mm. driven, if you you rapping and shit and you're not rapping right. for something, you're not, really, right. you're not really going for it. Right. You're just on the corner right. freestyling and battling. I just always thought that, like, the pimps that didn't hit they holes and didn't do that. Well, the best I, ones. I, thought, I thought they was the best ones because in order for you to control somebody with your mind and just talk to them, that is the illest psychological therapist, craziest shit. So how about those pimps? Well, you know, the pimps who, I call that like finesse pimping, where you could just, you Let's know. Let's make some noise for finesse pimping. I like that. I like that. Go ahead. And then the other guy who got to beat the girl and scare the shit out of her, they call that gorilla pimping. Gorilla you know? pimping. I heard about and, that. And, you know, the finesse pimps, they kind of laugh at the gorilla pimps. It's kind of mm. like, they look at it like the nigga's not as smart as me and he don't got as much game as me. Right. But it works both ways. You want to you wanna pimp the whole out of fear, Right. I personally don't think that that's even necessary, but there's mm. a lot of niggas that's mean natured like that mm. to just dog the bitch out and just mm. and just run a, run a house full of fear. But you know, either way, right. you get, you're getting the money, man. Because your because your record label was always in you was you was signed a job for like ah uh, like twelve nah shit like like maybe 12, 13, 14 hours. 12, albums, 13 like, but, years. But yeah. Was you the only no, no, one for the West on Jive? No, it was me, E-40, Spice One. Oh, it was Because it was, it was, it was I know shit. What, them tours was crazy back then. So, but you was the first like official rapper from Oakland. No doubt about it. From the whole fucking Bay Area. Make some noise for that, God damn it. No shit. And it, it has really mm -hmm. nothing to do with my L.A. upbringing either. It's that right. um, I just got to Oakland. It all just happened after I got there. I decided right. I could do this rap shit, and I just did it, and just, you know, right. even bigger than being the first rapper up out of the Bay, bigger than that uh -huh. is is being a pioneer of the whole music scene, because you can mm. be the first rapper and not pioneer right. shit. Right, right. But I, we, we brought in that independent... Yeah, you right. changed the game. Put your motherfucking records out, you know, and like I said, it was a... Uh, because then Jive came and got you. How did that happen when you first got signed a job? Well, I came in the game through... Uh, do some uh, some street guys, you know. <coughs> okay. Uh, particularly a guy named Dean Hodges. Let's big up Dean Hodges. If you Make wanna... some noise for Dean Hodges. <laughs> he seen you, and then yeah. okay. his little brother was uh, was the homie. We, we used to you know smoke weed, right. hang out and shit. He was just right. the homie. We used to um, fuck around and like his little brother rapped, but uh -huh. he wasn't he wasn't really that quality where that you ever thought he was gonna get on. He was just like for the fun of it. They were in the projects, rapping and shit, kicking. Right. It. So he was like, man, my brother got a record label. Um, I'm like, okay. okay. You know, and he's like, I'm take you up by his house. Now, I uh -huh. knew his brother, not for having a record label, the nigga, had right. his, he had the sack. Right. And if you want to get a visual of Dean, back then, Dean kind of, you know, nigga with the, with the curlers in his hair, the cover, mm. he has cur cur 
green or whatever color. Well, I saw on the East Coast, every time they had the curlers in the hair, we yeah. thought y'all niggas was killers. <laughs> <laughs> we thought, go ahead. So picture that nigga looking like a, he was kind of like a, a Jimi Hendrix, Rick James looking nigga mm. like, dressed like mm. a rock star. Let's make some noise for him. <laughs> Go ahead. Hey, man, I got so much game. Dean taught me how to be a player. This nigga was a player. Right. This nigga right. was a player, for real. real right. I mean, real player. We sit in his house. I'm fresh out of high school. This nigga run hoes in and out all day. Right. All day. Just He got the sack, and he's just a rock star in the hood, and he's just right. house on the hill, balling. Right. And the nigga, um, the nigga had a label. Right. And his whole label consisted of him mm -hmm. having the money, Go ahead. having the drug. Everybody wanted the cocaine. He sit out there. You go to Dean's house. It's a platter of cocaine right there. Mm. It's, it's, a, it's a it's a bitch a platter. Platter. It's a bitch over there, maybe in her in her draw panties and, and bra, cooking up some coke for so whoever wants to whoever wants to smoke it. Yeah. It's a box of weed. For, just roll a joint. If don't ask, just roll the motherfucker. And you know, it's just it was a colorful environment, man. The motherfucking Dean was the kind of nigga that watched Sanford and Son reruns all day and just <laughs> and just bitches sit around in their panties. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. When you describe that scene, I immediately think of Minister Society. <laughs> It, was, it looked like some shit like that, except, right, except the, on a way higher level. This nigga was not selling rocks. This was not a rock house. You had this, to, he he pimp it. You, you had to come up in there with some money, if you know right. anything. So Dean got all these professionals together, musicians that play all instruments, niggas that had been in you know different bands with, because Oakland got a lot of music history. So these niggas right. that played with Tower of Power and, mm. and Larry Graham and mm. Rick James and all kind of motherfuckers. It was just, it was professionalism. And right. he put me in the studio with these niggas. These were like older cats. Mm. He even had some rock and roll dudes around. It was just, it was a great environment to become too short. It wasn't really, doesn't sound really healthy, but it was a great environment to develop the character too short. And we I made. I don't like the back way. We used to yeah. go to studio. This session started at 11 p.m., end of 6 a.m., and it was just, you know, it was like college for me. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. But the, the main thing was the nigga was really running an independent label. Right. And he was really going to the studio. And he's the one who took you to job? Yeah, going. No, no, no. He, he, he was, was the one that, he just taught me this shit. Oh. Okay. So we go to the studio. We uh -huh. get the shit mixed down. We go to this other motherfucker. We get cassettes and wax pressed up. We go right. to this other motherfucker, and he, he sells the shit to multiple record stores. Right. And then we drive up to individual record stores and just carry the shit in and, and sell it to them. Because it's and, true, like, like y'all invented independent hustling. The yeah, Bay so, is known for that. So yeah. how I got lucky was one day right. I'm all, I'm 100 I'm 100 with Dean. This nigga, you know the nigga that taught you the game. Right. You're looking up to him. This, this 1985. This nigga's mm. driving a 85 Benz. This, he's the mm. nigga. Mm -hmm. So you know, I'm like, what what we doing next? And then one day Dean was like, about two years into it, he was like, man, to to me and his little brother, I need you niggas to get the fuck out of my house. Whoa. <laughs> fuck, fuck oh, cause y'all was living in his crib. Yeah. Fuck okay. this music shit. Just get, <laughs> get the fuck away. Don't come right. around, around no more. <laughs> Guy. But we like family. His mama right. like my mama. His cousins right. like my cousins. Like right. we, we, right. 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 we ain't going too far right up the street. Uh -huh. But still now he was like, I don't want no more parts of it. So that all we had to do now was we've been running with Dean for two years. Right. To, to the motherfucking studio. To the manufacturer. To the nigga that did the artwork. To right. the motherfucking distributor. Picking up the check. We right there right. with him. What right. do we do? We do the shit without him. Nigga, we made so much motherfucking and that's, money. And that's how you initially started. That's how, that's how Jive found me. And then Jive came to you. Yeah, we, we, we didn't give a fuck about the signing bonus, nothing. We just like, you going to give us national distribution? Let's that's hook it up. For. Right. Yeah. You know? This, this in New York, it was the exact opposite. Can I get some of that wine? Why? Yeah, you'll be trying to get a deal, right? We'll be trying to get a deal first. But um, we heard... Can you pour, pour something? Because we heard... That uh, Richmond, California, uh, uh, you guys in, oh uh, yeah, Oakland, you, like mm -hmm. you guys in, like, like y'all was actually, like when you said selling out the trunk, we meant that as selling it to Fat Beats. We wasn't selling out, I'm gonna keep it honest with you, we wasn't selling out the trunk. Like, Y'all was literally. We had boxes in the back of the motherfucking. <laughs> and moving them. Selling shit. out yeah. the motherfucking trunk. And it, it wasn't no trunk. It was actually a fucking truck. <laughs> right. A truck. <laughs> yeah. An actual truck. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, excuse me, man. But uh, uh, okay. same thing with Master P, man. Yeah, Master, right. said, Master P was, was in the, the Bay. bay. Yep. He, he was he, in the Bay. Was he his from, family? They owned like record stores or something? He owned a record store yeah. in Richmond. Master right. P was from New Orleans. Right. Came out to to uh, the Bay. The ice cream And he, man. he started making them fucking West Coast, down South yeah. compilations mm. and shit. And then he, mm. he blew the fuck up and went and set up shop down in Baton Rouge. He tooled New Orleans. as well. Right. He Master P was in the Bay with suck, soaking yeah. up that uh, independent game. Yeah. So y'all taught us the independency shit. Like every it's, time we... It was just a no option thing though, man. If I had... Oh, if mm. fucking Tommy Boy and right. motherfucking... Right. Uh, Goddamn, Profile yeah. Records was up the street. Nigga, <laughs> right, I, I right. been up there talking about hook me the fuck up. But right. we, 
We didn't have it. So you guys got had to always look at New York people like, Nigga. damn, y'all lazy. How the hell y'all don't got a deal on y'all in the, in the city? I had a rap partner before, like, uh, 85. My rap partner got caught up in the, in the, in the crack game. And, and okay, we it. never heard this. Let's make some noise for Too Short for giving us the exclusive story. Freddie B. His name is Freddie no, B. Come on, come on, come on. Get out, get out, get out. My nigga Freddie B. He was, he was, uh -huh. we was popping. It was, it was mm -hmm. Freddie B and Too Short. Was, okay. That, that nigga, that nigga was an Oakland nigga, born and bred, new niggas on every side of town. That was, he was... He was uh -huh. like the plug for me, like you know, mm. on just walking them streets. But um, yeah, um, before that though, um, okay, the weed is working. Cause, you know, yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. I did song with you back in the days, but for you to sit down and sit down and chill, cause you know what this is? It's about letting legends live again. You know what I'm saying? This yeah. is what the Drink Track podcast is about, and for you to just sit down and you not to deny me. Pass you the weed. Yeah. I am very fucking happy, my, my brother. My nigga, my nigga, Think I am smoking a blunt hey. with Too Short while we interviewing Too Short. Look at Make this some fucking noise! <laughs> now, this is a serious legend. Go ahead. So, nigga, we like 1983, 84, me and Freddie uh -huh. B. We talking uh -huh. about, all right, that's what we gonna do. All right. We gonna get two Greyhound tickets. We uh -huh. wrote down a list of every motherfucking 12 inch that came out, every, every, every single that dropped out of New York. Wow. All the different labels, we wrote down the address to the uh -huh. motherfucking label. We like, we're wow. going to fucking Greyhound, and we going to these fucking address. We're going to get us a record out. Like, wow. that, was the, that was the option. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Listen, all you new niggas need to listen to what he just Straight said. Up. Say, yo, <laughs> oh my God, can't continue, please. That's, that's just a crazy story. These guys just throw it on the internet and just hope. Kevin Lyles, call him. Gag, continue. Yeah, but you know, we, was gonna, we, 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 <laughs> right. we, we had plans, man. Like, it was right. like options and shit, and then we got a, a whiff of that independent game, mm. and, and that shit just happened. Like, Dean, Dean showed me how to do it. I always give credit to him for it. And, right. what, and what I did, when I got it, mm -hmm. I passed it on to one of my homies. Okay, the dude who, um, who came back around. After I quit fucking with Dean, I still needed somebody to uh, come with some money to make uh, the dream come true. I knew how to do it. But right. I didn't have the money no more. So my man Ted Bohannon, him and uh, Big Ted, Little Ted, they they okay. got they got a little rep in the streets of Oakland. People know who that is. Mm -hmm. They um they came through, mm -hmm. put a nigga back in the game with the uh, you know the studio time and being able to press up the shit and all that shit. And we just kind of um, we we blew up from there, man. We we went to the next motherfucking level with just uh. it, I, I'm just every uh, every. I think it was like every 15 racks would make me like 60 or some shit like that. Every 15 racks you spent yeah, will I make get, you I, 60. I bring back 60. When Drug I, dealers, listen to this. Pay attention. And it was clear, legit money. And we right. we, flip, we kept flipping it so many times. Like We just kept on getting... Uh -huh. This is when you're just indie, though? Yeah, we, we go buy 15,000 cassettes and sell them for 60 racks. And so we just, did that give you the upper hand, though, when a jive came knocking? Yeah, but I, all we wanted from Drive was distribution. The way we right. did the shit, we just we just wanted. So you had a different deal though compared to like someone in New York that was signing the Drive, right? Because well, if we well, was well, in New tell York, the truth, tell the truth, we thought right. we did. In the, in the it, long run, not, we, yeah. we, we, them motherfuckers are slick, man. Because <laughs> <Right. we, laughs> that's what I'm wondering. We right. thought we had some shit and we had the bullshit too, but it's cool. We, wow, we, we made a lot of money. And how right. long you been with Drive? How many years? I was on that motherfucker from uh, '88 until like goddamn. Damn, damn near 2008. It was a long time. Shit. Let's I make some noise for him getting money a long time. <laughs> a lot of motherfucking albums, though. A lot of motherfucking hey, But you, know you did funny? have fun on job, right? Let me tell you what's funny, okay. though. So I rapped a long time before I got a deal. Mm. I did a lot of shit before I got a deal. I got a deal mm. in 88, and mm. I had been rapping like seven, eight years already. Mm. So I had all these rap songs that I put out in the streets that people knew and loved. Mm. When I signed the Jive, mm. They shot me the check. The albums went nationwide. Mm -hmm. Checks came back, you know, the royalties and shit. They shot the next up front. I'm like, nigga. Like, you know, we was getting right. money. Right. Grinding and hustling. I was like, nigga, these niggas going to keep sending me hundreds of thousands if I make songs. Right. Nigga. <laughs> I went back until I had a box. Right. <laughs> well, I didn't have a rap book. I had a box. Right. It was full of raps. I had been right. writing them motherfuckers for years and just little sh tapes in the street. I went in that box and recycled every motherfucking line in there. Right. I would just scratch out the line if I use it. Right. I was using them old raps for the next eight years. Wow. The shit I wrote for eight years prior, I used for eight years in my deal. I put out an album probably every nine months. And now, what, what would you consider yourself? More of a rapper or more of a CEO and a hustler? What would you consider yourself? Well, as far as rap goes, right. 
I think I'm a real, real major hip hop fan. Right. And I always put myself outside the circle of what I'm calling hip hop. Mm. Niggas who's like, ooh, that nigga spit them bars. You know, that mm. shit like, ooh, you mm. heard I, I, the mm. ooh shit? Right. I was strictly just pounding in the trunk, talking mm. shit. Mm. And I could have taught a lot of niggas, no matter what the integrity of you as a man, I could have taught you how to talk that shit and right. make that shit pound, and you would have had a million fans like me. Like, it just right. was... You talk shit. I listen to your shit. Uh, yeah, you I talk shit. shit. I talk shit. Yeah, so yes, I'm saying, yeah, yeah, so I'm, yeah, I talk shit. I'm saying shit talking versus spitting <laughs> bars and all this shit right. and being a rapper. But <clears throat> CEO, man, I, I look at it like we hustlers, man, because we, 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 we start a company and we don't say, you my boss. And that's like, nigga, we hustling right. to get this money. Hustling. Do exactly. fucking something. We didn't drop niggas off on the way because right. we hustling and getting money. It's a lot of money coming in. And niggas like, call me when y'all going to lunch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, like, mm -hmm. like, nigga, no, we up at 7 in the morning. Pressing up shit and picking up shit and moving shit around, nigga. Right. You know, and we and we partied all last night, but right. we up in the morning grinding, getting this shit to where we can get these checks back. Right. I always thought about bank deposits. Damn. I, you, I wish you, you need to be my making, account. You need to be making more money. Right. Yeah, you, you, yeah, you gotta take that right. shit in the bank. I need, right. I need to go put that right. shit in the bank. So how yeah, I was putting that shit under my mattress. I'm a foul nigga. I'm too short. Don't make no fuck? noise for me. <laughs> Don't make no noise for I'm me. I'm like, yeah. how the fuck can we make get to the bank and, and put right. money in? Uh huh. So we grinding, man. Like we grinding. Niggas just don't have that same like minded philosophy. We just dropping them off on the way. Now, how did you get the Minister Society role? How did you, because you just. Dope. And you handing off Really? Okay, guys. the Hughes Brothers, this is what I think happened. The Hughes right, Brothers are, are really real big Bay Area hip hop fans. Oh, wow. And they from Pomona somewhere in LA. They, they love okay. Bay, Bay Rap, though. This is what they told me. And Tupac had just fucked off his. Part in a movie by beating one of the Hughes brothers up. Yeah, I heard shit. about yeah, that. Yeah. Let's make some noise to Zubak for beating the Hughes brothers. So, um, so Pac was off the movie, and, uh -huh. and if you notice, it's not a lot of star power. You got, but, but Pac didn't have your role. No, no, no. Tate's role, I think. Nope, nope. Huh? He, he didn't. He had. He's um, supposed to be the, the, the Muslim Shaheen, dude. The Muslim yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, that was. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 the Muslim dude. So they needed a little star power, and they just uh. They strictly just brought me in so that they could have like somebody name brand in that motherfucker. And then right. they, happen, they just happened to be major Too Short fans. Right. If you notice, they came and got me for their next little documentary movie. To, uh, what was it called? Uh, American Pimp? Oh, yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they, yeah. they let me say but a few words. But you a pimp, though. You're supposed to be in there. Go ahead. So it was, it was just a matter of that, man. I came in there and worked for a few days and kicked it. You, Minister Society is a cold ass movie. No, it's, and it's cold. It's just dope. You had the coldest role in there. Yeah, they, they, they let a nigga, you know. I'm, I'm no, only, that was a cold role. I'm the only nigga that pulled the strap on no dog. That's in, what I'm in talking about. movie. That's what I'm talking about. Let's make some noise for him pulling the strap on no dog. <laughs> <laughs> that's a fact. Yo, yo, that, that's, I mean, for us, especially us from New York, um, you know, when we seen you, when we see NWA, when we see Menace Society, Boys in the Hood, that's when we actually realize y'all culture because we knew that hip hop, I, I think Common had made a record, I Love Her. Mm -hmm. And, but when they went I over used to there, love yeah, I used to love her. I, but when it went over there, y'all was so different. And for me, everything was about buildings, everything was about. Like what I see in their face, the lifestyle, and, and, the culture, and, and, and y'all chopped it up. And this was the craziest thing to see you guys in y'all element. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, to, and but but the crazy thing is, you was from South Central, and then you went up north, north, north Cal. So you you call it up north? See, see in New North York. Cali, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. See, see, two different planets, man. North Cal and SoCal, two different worlds. Two yeah, different even worlds. Gang wise, the Mexican gangs they divide themselves. The slang down. words, the dress code. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, our Mexican. And you could adapt to both worlds still. I, I mean, to this day. Yeah. To this day, you can yeah. still adapt. I'm gonna lie. I had a promoter hit me one time, and she, and uh, it was a it was a lady. It was like you and too short is the easiest people to. Um, handle and I was like, why is that? It was like, y'all don't ask for hair and makeup. They just want to land and just. Yeah, we missed the diva shit. We go yeah, in there and say, what's the high five? High I'm five, like, too short. High I'm five, yeah. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like what's the pickup? Right, right, yeah. <laughs> you, you we'll got, take that. You got we'll that take issue. That. <laughs> uh, where the mic at? Right, right. Like, how right. many mics you need? One. <laughs> so, that, but after minutes, how did your life change? Because that had to be the biggest music movie at that time. Man, I ain't gonna lie, man. My, mm -hmm. What I had going on at that moment was bigger than that movie. My shit was platinum, platinum, platinum. That oh, movie was okay. that movie yeah. was like some side shit. I wouldn't. That, yeah, was, that yeah. was a side. That was, was a slide. I was, was already popping. So right. the, the movie, uh, 
came out, it hit hard. It, right. it, it, no, it was one of them. It was one of the ones that kind of like Purple Rain kind of movie where it kind of right. lasted and lasted. Yeah, and just, lasted and lasted. Don't go away. It's and still lasting. And you watch it right now on TV right. or, or on, you know right. unedited. It's still it's the shit. Right. It's a good right. movie. The boys made a good movie, but um, you know, man, um, that whole New York West Coast thing. I used to um, mm-hmm. I used to go to New York. The, what you telling me now? Like I used to go to New York, and I know for a fact. It wasn't really about the music, cause motherfuckers like, man, I really didn't hear too much shit you did. But they'd right. be like, man, respect, son, respect, kid. Like, right. like it would be, <laughs> right. and it was, I, you know, back then it was a nationalized. It's like if you the man, you the man of your hood. So I asked my New yes, Yorkers, I'm like, what does that mean if they keep saying respect? They're like, man, they showing you love. Like it's just saying, yeah. you know, shit. That's right. a, that's a big deal if a New Yorker says to you right. respect. So I was like, okay, right. cool. But it wasn't about the music, <clears throat> and right. um, and you know, I kind of, um, I kind of. Uh, you know, I started hanging out in New York a little bit, man. Right, right After a no. while. They was, 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 love you in New York. I don't know if you know that. Yeah, but you know. Blow the whistle. Woo! Woo! Blow the whistle. Come on, blow the whistle. Your niggas ain't gonna blow the whistle. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead, go ahead. I started getting in them studios, though, uh-huh. in New York. Moving yeah, around and oh, shit. Battery. I didn't, I didn't been on, I've been on three Jay-Z albums, two big yeah, albums. We was going there. We was going there. I was up in there. I was up in there. We was going there. So how did, how did that first feel? Like, you know, Jay wanted to mess with you. You're all the way on the other side of the coast, and he wanted to I do got it right. the, I got the um, B.I.G. blessing. Mm. B.I.G. just, he was, uh, you Cause know. Because you worked with Big before Jay, or do you work with Jay? No, Big first. And then Big first, okay. He told me this shit, man. He told me this shit. The okay. first time I met him, he came, He called me over to a limo. We was at the Outcast picnic in, uh, in Atlanta. limos was popping back then. <laughs> I keep saying yeah, yeah. limos. Nigga, 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 nigga can't. A limo right now if you fucked up. <laughs> nigga, you pull up in a limo, nigga, ain't nobody. Niggas is like, who, who's fucking Bob Dylan pulling up right now? Like, yeah, yeah. Hey, man. But back then, I understand limos was that so the nigga, shit. The nigga called yeah. me over to the limo. Uh-huh. And, it, you know, roll the window down. I walk. I right. lean over in it. It's, it's a friendly event outdoor. You know, this mansion and shit on the, on the front lawn, the back right. lawn, all around the house. And shit. Right. And he called me over and he just said, Yo, yo, you got love in Brooklyn. That's all he said. I and he said, talking about big, right? Yeah. Okay. I was like, what's up? Right. So then a couple years later, niggas a super mega star. But, 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 but hold on, because I want you to continue your story. But did you know how much New York loved you? Because New York loved you. And, and that's what I'm getting at. It was a it was okay. a gradual okay. you know, understanding. I, I didn't even I wasn't getting it for a minute. Oh, okay. So um uh-huh. uh he, he told me that shit. And then a couple years later, we sitting on a tour bus, we smoking some weed. He was uh-huh. like, yo, remember that time uh, you came over uh-huh. to the limo? It was like, look, 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 you got love in Brooklyn? He said, that was me. I'm, right. like, I'm like, damn. You know, like, you know, like oh, that. Oh, oh, so he wasn't Biggie when he told you that? He probably was already had his deal and shit. He was at, right. he, he yeah, was at the Celeb no party, but he, but he wasn't wow. a Celeb. Yeah. Let's so, make uh, some noise for Too Short breaking the story. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's crazy. That's true. So you met Big before he was big, and he yeah. told you you had love in Brooklyn, yeah. and then you seen him later. Okay, so then later on, we started being homies and shit. We making songs. We did that out of the world is filled with pimps and hoes. We, so, so we yeah, homies now. Yo, yo, I, too short. You keep making me pop my collar. <laughs> the whole episode, I'm your, just your keep, shirt's all fucked up. Yo, my shirt, my shirt, my shirt has collar, never been man. right. I'm just, I've been like this, and now I'm hyphying because you know I, I go out there recently. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm a ghost rider. We got everything. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, big. Just we, we just became friends, man. And he, right. you know, he, was a, he, he told me about how, um, how New Yorkers, for the most part, wasn't really. Feeling like listening to any other hip hop outside of New York, yeah. and he's like, "Man, I've been listening to everything though." He was naming mm-hmm. shit like tell, yeah. he listened to all down south shit. And he was like, "I like hip, I like shit." So, right. so he was one of them cats who was mm-hmm. open without any kind of bias. Right. And he um he wanted to work. Motherfucker, right. like, let's do a song. And then the way I did the song with him, and he sent Puffy to come get me. <laughs> he like, you know, like Puff is the you can't say no kind of nigga. So mm-hmm. Puff was like, "Man, yo, Big wants you on a song." <laughs> I've never been able to say no to Puff. <laughs> Still to this day. That nigga's like, people right. think he's some kind of soft nigga. That nigga's a bully, man. <laughs> right, yeah, he's a bully. He's a bully. <laughs> For real. Now, this, this is a funny story that Big came to the Oakland, and I think somebody took his chain. I ain't heard that one. <laughs> you ain't heard that one? You ain't heard that one? I heard E-40 helped that out. You ain't okay, that okay. One. You know what? I moved to Atlanta. Okay. So E-40 was... Let's talk about the Atlanta movement. So E-40 was like... E-40 I took think the you role. were responsible from uh, Atlanta being a pimping country. And Let's Eric make some Sermon noise for that. Eric Sermon was in Atlanta. Oh, Eric Sermon was Wait, wait, what, what, wait, what? Eric Sermon. Eric yeah. Sermon moved to Atlanta. They started That's, with you like, mentioned, a lot of you, music. You, you moved to Atlanta early. What year did you move to 93. Atlanta? 93. Is, this, I, is that why they got strip clubs in Atlanta? I did not too short move there. I didn't move to Atlanta for the um, music industry. I moved to that motherfucker for the for the, the property, the culture and totally. shit. Man. I was I was down there. <laughs> mm-hmm. It was uh, it was like easy math. It was um, real estate was like one fourth of what California is. Mm. Shit, mm. motherfucking um, 
table dancers at the strip club was five dollars. Five dollars. <laughs> <Five dollars. laughs> You know How much were they in California at that time? The, the ratio of women and men was like twenty to one. Uh. <laughs> it was it was Man. going down, and it was just it was like. So, so you was the first person to crack the south. Let's make some noise for him to crack the south. Come on, three more motherfucking West Coast. You know, you know, now you know who beat me. Who it beat was, you? It was some niggas that beat me. Eric Simon showed up like a little bit before he, yeah, me. He was there. Mm. Bobby Brown he was Bobby that. Brown was acting ass. Now Bobby, Bobby, Bobby Brown, Bobby Brown. He was acting ass. Bobby he, Brown was he, fucking everything. He was in that motherfucker. I, <laughs> I, I, I was fucking everything. I kinda, I it was his prerogative. It was his prerogative, man. He was fucking everything. I ain't gonna lie. Everywhere, like I, I was a little nigga seeing Bobby Brown. Like yeah, that nigga whoever was I was so with, like right, you gonna fuck him tonight. Yeah, go ahead, but I'm sorry, go ahead. Yeah, so um, you know, Dallas Austin was starting his shit. He was a, mm. he was uh, involved with the whole TLC come up. Mm-hmm. Mm. L- L.A. Reid was already. And did he had the glove on when you met him, Dallas no. Austin? Or no, you, not the glove. He, I don't he, know. He was wearing gloves with spikes and shit. He's a little different. Well, he was, yeah. he was, he was rock and roll Dallas back like, then a yeah, little bit. He was, he, he, yeah, he was a rock different. star. He was a, okay. he always yeah, he's a, rock, a rock, star. rock star. He's a always. rock star. That's what I was trying to establish. So, um, you know L- he's an OG. He helped yeah. me out. Thank you. L.A. Yeah. Reid was who he is. He, mm. was, he was all of that. That LaFace was there. He had Tony Braxton shit. already been platinum. He had like artist Tony mm. Terry. He was LaFace was established. Mm. Right. And then uh, there was no Outkast. There wasn't no Goody Mob. It wasn't, mm. you know, Criss Cross probably had like, you know, Single or some shit, the new shit. Mm. They were still jumping around and shit. Mm. So I got there right when it started. It Gucci Crew, I think only. I got yeah. a, you know, tag team was balling. Yeah. Are we Boop, talking about LaFace? Are is. we talking LaFace? LaFace Records. Yeah. You heard that just now? He was at LaFace Records. They never offered me shit. Let's just make some noise for Too Short for raping the industry. Come on, come on. So look at this. Go ahead. I mean, I was just there for Young Atlanta, you know, the architecture of what it, the but foundation this is, of what this it became is, to so be. So you coming from, you, you, coming you from born, Oakland? You born, you born in South Central, moved to Oakland, and now you in Atlanta. And then I eyeball Atlanta. I'm at the Freak Nick. Like, what? I'm, I come back and to you, Jack. Did you realize that this was born to be the music scene, or you was just out no. there? I went to the, I had already been touring out there doing doing concerts and shit, and then we uh-huh. go to Magic City and yeah. fuck around. I knew the lifestyle. Now, Magic City is where Players Club is based on. Could uh, be. That, that yeah, type yeah, of vibe. It could be. It could be. It, it could right. be. What, what, what did you feel like when you seen the Players Club? Was that true to you or the, was that? To the lifestyle I was living, Cube is my nigga. Mm. But to the lifestyle I was living, that was a very watered down strip club experience in that movie. Mm. I, I've never really seen a strip club to give you, that, a movie to give you that real fucking strip club feeling, that real. So we're going to make the movie. Opportunity. Drink champs. We're yeah, going to make the movie gonna together. I never, we, I, I, we, I, we I never seen experience. a movie capture that. The real strip club experience. Yeah. Drink champs. And now, are you saying in the Bay Area? No, well, I'm talking about, about it. it's anywhere. So, it's so whack on the West Coast. I don't, I don't even fuck with right. strip clubs on the West Coast. Don't I, forget Miami, man. We got it here, man. We got uh, yeah, it. Yeah, no, nah, nah, I ain't going to lie. Miami. If you Rolex, ain't doing, Rolex, you ain't doing it like Miami or Atlanta. Miami you know, and Atlanta. Cities yeah. like Dallas. So in, if the bitch don't get butt naked, then you can have a fucking drink in the right. same building. It's bullshit. Let's make some noise for Too Short knowing about the real strip club. <laughs> That's bullshit. That's a real strip club right there. <laughs> I tell my niggas in New York said, all the no time. No pasties, no pasties. I tell my niggas in New York all the time. We go to Sue's Rendezvous, and you know I'm like, what they doing? That's pasties? not really <laughs> real. Pasties. No pasties. Like, nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's a strip club in L. A. where the bitch, um, uh-huh. the bitch wear three pairs of panties. Wait, wait, she wait, barely wait, get wait. topless for a minute. She keep poking her titty out, and then every time the bitch pull her panties back, there's another pair of panties under it. I'm, I'm in not going to lie. If I was in a hotel, that would work for me. <laughs> <laughs> but in the strip club, it wouldn't. All right, so I'm in Atlanta, man. I'm right. getting there, and, you know, the, the, before I move there. And you like, <clears throat> you get a dance, right? She comes to you and say, can I get a dance? And you say, right. let me see that pussy. Mm, so in she, Atlanta. So she, before you even get the dance, you're like, let me just see what I'm getting into. For, uh, right. uh, and then you go, oh, yeah, I want to dance based mm. on if you like what you see. Mm. You ain't doing that at no, you know, them other joints. Right. You know, Sometimes they call them strip clubs. They should call them naked clubs because girls don't even strip. They don't bikini even wear nothing. Club. They don't even call it a I'm not going to lie. But some clubs, they walk around butt ass naked. You don't even right. have, a, have a top or bottom. She's just walking around already naked. I'm not going to lie. I shit. thought I was a pimp for a week. It didn't work out for me. I was, I was, <laughs> it wasn't built for me. <laughs> I, I just couldn't do it. I just, I got, I got compassion. I don't know. Because <laughs> to be a pimp, you, you, you can't have nothing. You can't have no like. You know, I really feel like I could be a really good pimp. But right. I got this other good ass job called rapping. Mm, um, high which, five, high five. <laughs> you pimping the high rap five, game. High five. Let's Every, make some noise for short pimping the hey. rap game. God damn it. God damn it. Come on. Yeah. Every mm. time you dabble in some pimping, mm. and a bitch is getting a few G's, she getting some G's, bringing them. I'm like, bitch, you just did all that stressing me to fuck out. Right. 
And that, and that wasn't nothing but two shows to me. <laughs> because they can't Shit. they can't touch the money. They're supposed to bring the money back. That's a real pimp, right? So you, your bitch have a good month. You get uh, a, a, a walking around bitch. Can you get like 15, yeah. 20 racks out the bitch in the month. Nigga, that's a mm. few shows. That's a couple shows. That's nothing. Yeah, like, yeah that's a And fact. she going to stress you the fuck out yeah, for 30 yeah, days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're right. like, nigga, keep that shit. You're right. You're <laughs> I'm about right. to go do a show. And you might dick sucked after. <laughs> so how does it feel? <laughs> Chris, Chris, because you... You did a song with Jay Z and Biggie Smalls, and he did the joint with multiple Pac. songs and Pac. Like, yeah, and and, and, and Snoop, Scarface and Snoop. Oh, yeah. and Snoop. How do I? That's that's something I'm really you, proud you look, of you in a career. Super, super, super OG. In in a, in a career, I am the that like, all those guys are going to be, you know, legends. No, they, they are. are legends. They yeah. are they or are on legends. their way, but, one but, or the other. But, yeah. but when we're all gone. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, I, yeah. You know, I just want to be in in that. Not too many people crazy. have that repertoire. Though. And Bone Thugs too, right? Uh, did we do a song? I, I mean, I just make songs I don't even know. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, nah, them, nah, I ain't gonna lie. Them the homies though. If we did, right, if right. we did or didn't, <laughs> them my niggas. I just told you I did a song on your album. You ain't even remember. He was <laughs> sitting there like, "Word, <laughs> no, 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 nigga." You did so. We, you did we, so much song. We, we that, gotta, you we, you we a got, legend. You a legend. We got a bang in that song. Yeah, 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 nah, yeah, nah, nah. I'm trying to think of that legend. What the fuck was the hook? I'll pull that shit up on my phone right now. Right, I'll pull we, we believe you, Sean. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen, listen. Half of the uh, sounds are going to check it yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Half of the sounds. That's his job. No, that's his job. <laughs> but, Short, sure, man, how do you, like, um, all these years, how do you maintain your love for hip hop? How does that happen? Cause I, I I like that new shit. I ain't gonna lie. I like you I like, like the new. Guys. I like what it happens, and I'm not talking about the new right now. I'm talking about right. every time the new shit. Every came. time it changes. Cause you know the, when you the nigga, it, mm. it's it's like sports. It's like the fucking hood. When you the nigga, and that next nigga come up like the super stud mm. and, and start getting a little more attention to you, you start feeling the kind of way. Start, and you still feel the same no, vibe. I'm for that nigga though. I'm like oh, nigga, you for the new I'm like, okay, nigga, okay. I'm that nigga who's getting money. Right. Who. If I see a young nigga getting it, I'm like, nigga, get, get it, nigga. Like, I'm, Look, I'm, that's I'm, real, man. Did you understand what he just said? Yeah, Let's make some noise for that guy. Oh, nigga. Let's make it cool, everybody. Camera guys, everybody. That's real, short. Because I'm promoting that shit. Let's all get it. Let's get it. You know what I'm saying? And then when you get it, you right. are, you, are, you, you, you so, wrong if you don't pass it on. It's all work. You wrong right. if, you, if you don't share it in some kind of way. Don't give it away. But teach the next nigga how to, how to get it, too. Because you... You always had fun with the game. Like every time I seen you, I don't care where I see you at. You walking through. You looking good. You walk, you know what I'm saying? Like there's other people and, who don't do that. And you know what happens? Those blessings they come around, man. It's, they come it's, back it's, around. There's, there's been a time in my life where mm. shit was fucked up. Mm. Had some fucked up shit. And then somebody mm. who I showed that love to was like, "What's, what's wrong?" Bam. Right. You know, and, and instantly for, and the love, for the love. And how about my man, Mr. Fab? You mess with Mr. Fab? That's my it's, dude right it's like, there. That's like my son. That's my yeah. guy. That's oh, my, that's, man. That's Let's make some noise for Mr. Fab being too short, son. Yeah. God damn it. God damn it. We just, we just saw him in, in South by Southwest with cows. Oh, yeah. 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 So that 30 years of rapping. And cows. Yeah. And cows. That's my nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my nigga. That's my brother. That's 30 my years brother. of rapping. Uh-huh. Uh, I'm like... We get we get money other ways. We can do this mm -hmm. shit with or without the microphone. We can get down, right? But you right? still enjoy what you do. Fab came to me and uh, and was like, "Man, you've been rapping thirty years. You got to make an album." So I'm doing an album right. called the uh, 30th Anniversary, Whew. and and my man came in there. He kind of a and r my album for me. Just you know, just right. kind of just kind of like it's a beautiful thing. A whole bunch of shit. We doing the hooks and shit, and just just right. just like put a nigga in shape. Like you know, you get a nigga in shape. Right, right. You got a nigga in shape for a good-ass album, so I gotta, I'm got i an old-ass nigga. I just turned 50, like, last Thursday. Nah, man, let's make some noise for the turn of 50, goddammit. Yeah, nigga. Let's make some noise. High five, high five, short. A nigga hit motherfucker 50. Yo, we, we, we had KRS-One here, and he had an AARP card. Is correct? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Him, yeah, him yeah. and Sonny Him and Sonny had an AARP card. <laughs> yeah, and you know Chris what? might be my age or... Uh, uh, he yeah, I think, you know, he definitely said he's 50. Yeah, okay, yeah, He yeah. definitely said he's 50. And, and ain't nothing wrong. But you know what's crazy, short? You... You look young. You doing young shit. Mm -hmm. And you still have the love for it. Like, I could look at you when I ask you these questions. Yeah. You really still love hip-hop. No, it's the hustle, nigga. I'm, I'm about to get on the mic and rap in front of a crowd tonight. It ain't shit. Tonight. I grabbed the mic and live last night. Fuck that. Oh, Did I? Well, God I mean, damn it. And live. We should have went to live. I ain't gonna lie. I was so tired last we, night. We had a long week. We had a long... <laughs> I wish I knew you was there. Hey. So you never lost your love for hip hop, not once. Not for rap, no, no, no. Cause it, you could be uh, lean with it, rock with it. Niggas was right. that, that. 
They think okay, look, you got a you got a bunch of motherfuckers that like this new weird shit. That's what right. you're saying, yo. That's what you're seeing. Uh-huh. This shit is weird. How do these motherfuckers like it? Uh-huh. I try to get around and figure out what is it that they like. It must be the infectious beat. It must be the catchy right. hook. It must mm, be the way it make you dance. It's something mm. good about it. So I like. I'm like, oh, I get it. I try. Right. I try to get it. Right. Like, why is you niggas dressing all weird? Oh, oh I get it. <laughs> you know I what I'm saying? It. If it makes sense. If you, if you well, look why at are they dressing all weird? I don't. No, get that. I, I don't get that part. But and, they, and they, they, and they don't want to be like us. They don't want to be. They want you got to do something right, right. It's like defense. rebellious kids. And their defense, when you look at the like the first pictures of hip hop, the, the first pictures oh, no, of hip hop no, no, yeah, is yeah, yeah, yeah. these it's little niggas. Hey, yeah, yeah, they was dressing so, wild. But guess what though? These little <laughs> niggas that we, that we calling weird right now, the right. niggas is trying to look like the eighties. No, yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. Eighties, nineties, that's exactly what I'm saying. With the gold and shit. So, yeah. so with that being said, and you being a pimp, you being a real nigga, I've never heard too short in a controversy. Other than when you ran from police, that was crazy. <laughs> what happened when you ran from police? Let's talk about that. Nigga, I was in L.A. I had an apartment. <laughs> I had an apartment right across the street. From here, right from, here, from where I was running. Oh, we was running. <laughs> yeah. okay. from side. I was bar. like, damn, you had an apartment. Shout here. out to Rob. Okay, 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 okay. I was right. about to uh, dip up in the spot, and then uh-huh. you know. It's nothing that ain't been done before. Right, right. Logically But you're too shit. short. You, yeah, can't, I, you, can't, you, you gotta be careful. Too I'm, 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 just saying, I'm just saying, man. We, yeah. It was crazy. Yeah, so we, you we, we, we walked the line, bro. We walked the line. Uh-huh. That, I talked to that brother. I was like, man, I did all the tests, all this shit. I wasn't even fucking drunk. I was like, it had been, it was 3.30. The drinking had stopped a while ago. I, uh-huh. I was going to walk these bitches to their car. Okay. Because the bitch's Excuse- shit is for real. Let's make some noise, man. Make, keeping it for real with the bitch. Come on, go. I feel okay calling these bitches bitches because after I got in all that trouble, they never called back once and said, are you okay? Just, <laughs> are you okay just, or it nothing? Was just, it was just some bitches I met that night. Right. Walk these bitches to the car. I said, right. no, nah, you know what? I live right over there. It's like about a block and a half. Right. I said, I'm, I'm going to drive y'all over there. It's 3.30 in the morning. Y'all been hanging out uh-huh. in my spot. I'm going to drive y'all over there. Uh-huh. Drove them over there. Hit a little U-turn to come back. Nigga turned the light on me. He made me do all this Shit. Uh, and you know, the nigga who saw the video to TMZ was like one of the security dudes from the club I was at oh, that night. It was, all, it was all right there in the neighborhood. Oh. That was like a supper club I went to that night, mm. Tuesday night. Mm. I'm like, even even that nigga, I heard the nigga sold the video for like 500. They was like, we would have gave him 5,000. Like, 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 uh, that bullshit. Nigga out there, um, but it was some good press though. I like, I do like the, the the good press that you get when you get the yeah. But is that, that the first? Is, is that the first time you realized the power of the internet, or you been new the power? Of the internet? That was the first time I realized I was in my forties. Why? Because you couldn't get away when yeah. you ran. <laughs> <laughs> Make some high five. <laughs> Make some noise. Too short. I talked to this nigga, man. I talked to the nigga. I showed the nigga the building. I said, okay. "Dude, I live right there." I said, you got my, my car. Uh-huh. I said, I'll leave this motherfucker here, whatever, man. We just this, I live right there. Right. You know, he's like, you got to blow for me. Right. I'm like, man, I told the nigga, I said, man, I might not. I was drinking earlier. I just, right. I told the whole story. I'm like, dude, right. fucking right there. Right. A lot of times the cop be like, all right, man, just, you know, leave the right. car here. Go, you know, go home. Right. This nigga's like, you got to blow. I was like, is that my only option? That was the last thing I asked him. Mm. You could, did you deny it? You- I mean, I, I honestly, that's one of the ones I regret because I had on some Converse. Low cut. Oh, um, um, uh, the Chuck Taylors. Yeah, the Chuck Taylors. Oh I, yeah, you can't run in those. And I was just, I was just mad because I was yeah, like, yeah. those are like it, the Kanye West new sneakers. It was, you can't, it was, you can't ball in those. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you run in those. It's over for you. I think yeah. I had like another bra still at the spot. I'm like, I gotta get back. It ain't over. Like right. it was shit going on. So this is real deal. You really have bras. Like wherever every city you go, you have bras, or or you stop that. That's I'm, over. Now, I'm gonna tell you like this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> At this late, at this stage in the game, I'm not trying to be young short dog anymore. I'm not doing mm. this. Shit. I used to go when I go out. I'm like mm. call a few call a few homies. Like you know, I hang mm. out with a lot of chicks. So I, I like eight, ten. We go out. That was my normal. Mm. I might do some shit like that tonight, but really, uh, tonight. Yeah, I mean, I'm in Miami. So you so. want me to hang with you tonight? I want to just see how it goes down. <laughs> I'm in Miami, so I'm, I'm really not the one. You've been court- doing this in Miami for a I'm, long time, but I'm not coordinating the chicks. It's like Miami is like. You know the girls, they do it. They oh, just like, oh well, you got the girls who coordinate the girls. Yeah, they just. Let's they make just... some high five. High five. <laughs> high five for that. But back hey, let's make day. some noise for that, goddammit. Come on. <laughs> but that's still big. He, 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 he but said, what I'm saying is, uh-huh. back in the day, I would literally mm-hmm. get in my phone and call like these two, those two, those right. two, meet me. I right. did that shit up until about three, four years ago. Mm. And I kind of just like chilled it out a little bit. Now, now I might go out with like two or three. Right. And just, you know, another secret to what I do is a lot of guys, they try to fuck all the women. 
Mm. I just try to hang out with him, man. Just hang out, be cool. And, you know, mm. shit, shit happens, shit don't. We cool. It's, that's, right, right. You know, that's a secret weapon for you. <laughs> we gotta tell Charlie Skins. He doesn't yeah, know that. Even gotta tell he Charlie don't know Skins. That secret. <laughs> Uh, who else we got to tell? Uh, Sonny DB. D. All, D. all, the, hor- all yeah. the horny niggas, man. Yeah, all, just... Oh, he knows about the horny Montanas. <laughs> Make some noise for horny Montanas. <laughs> if you're a horny Montana, we got horny Montanas. And we call them our group. Like, uh, in our crew. If you're a horny Montana. Like, yeah. if you, if you, if you want to fuck everything, you're... Like, I, me personally, I seen my, a couple of my horny dudes. We in Bur... Bur mm-hmm. um, let, me, let me pronounce this right. Um... Berlin, Germany. Ger- I was like, I hope it's I see, Germany. I see my my homie finger pop a bitch in the butt. <laughs> that, <laughs> that, 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 that ain't right. Wasn't Eddie. In the club. Not in the look. club. That's not you a finger look. popping in the butt. I said slime. This is not. This is. I'm uncomfortable with this situation. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. I, I actually can't. I can't partake. He's like, no. This is how we doing it. Like in the butt in the club. I gotta still out. I gotta leave. You know what I mean? But this are a lot of horny people. Yeah. So that's how pimps actually. Sh- okay, I got a homie. Okay. I got a homie. Um, Go ahead. He uh he was kind of like kind of timid kind of guy, man. Wasn't mm. really like aggressive with the ladies. Mm. But then you know he kind of he had he's like a rock star kind of nigga that kind of wore this like ponytail shit, light skin mm. nigga. Mm. And uh, he wanted to hang out with us one night, and I was like, dude, you can't. We, where are we going? You can't get down like that. Mm. So we literally sent the nigga somewhere. He was in, he wasn't from Oakland, but he was passing through. Mm. We sent the nigga down to where the pimps get their hair done and shit, and got mm. him a pimp hairdo out of his. You know, his life oh, yeah. dude, we, we, turn, we turned him into like a, a pimp looking nigga. They turned him out. Okay. <laughs> Told the nigga to put on a certain kind of clothes, and then mm. he got to the party. He's like, still the same nigga. Like, what do I do? Still square. I said, okay. nigga, the way you look, just walk up to every bitch and say, I'm Mike, bitch. <laughs> right, right. Tell him I'm name. Mike. His name is Mike. Okay. Okay. Boris, okay. Boris. Boris. Yeah, Boris. We go, yo, we pimping you up, motherfucker. Guess Go ahead, what, continue. Guess what he came back and told me at the party later on? He said, nigga, that shit works. <laughs> yo, nah. I'm going to be honest. I hung out with Bishop Don Juan for like a whole weekend. He had me gas, right? So what happened was they they gave me a famous player card. You remember the famous player card? It was mm-hmm. gold. They yeah. gave me nine one seven on there, and they asked me to come to the um the the, the uh uh, uh play of the year play players ball. ball. I got there, and then I, I you know I'm on I'm on I'm on road for real. Like, but I took two days out my. Schedule. I walked in the players, um, players shit. It was a white bitch that was. I'm walking in. A white bitch say, "Hey, how you doing? Oh, you know me." This is. I don't even know if she asked me to take a picture. She asked me something. And I said, "Bitch, you better play up." <laughs> I said, "You was in the pimp." I was in my pimp. I, hey. I definitely didn't know. And she chose me. I said, "Bitch, you better choose before you know." <laughs> I don't know why I said that. And the bitch and Bishop Darmar, um, what's my nigga? Uh, Juju, pimp Juju. Mm-hmm. All of them was trying DC, to knock yeah, me. Niggas. All of them was trying to yeah. knock me. They said, "Yo, Nori," and the, and the white bitch kept staying by me. And I said, "I don't know what I did. <laughs> I don't you, know what I did." You didn't get the memo. I didn't get the memo to pimp correctly, and then I wanted to pass off, but she really didn't want to be passed off. Hey, you ever off. seen that nigga? He uh-huh. got about he always got about five or six hoes. His bitches got to stare at the ground; they can't look up. That he Damn. and now well, what like, about him? Let's like break Iraq. him down. It, it's kind of funny though, because uh, his bitches they sit somewhere. Uh huh. Even when they sit down, the whole time they out, they can never look up. They have mm. to look at the ground. And they be sitting there talking to each other. And then right. if you dare, you're like, right. you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a little crazy guy, nigga. Right. So you, you go on there and try. So, so you, not, not, I just try to fuck with him and break him a little bit and be like, right. oh, how y'all doing? Right, right. They can't speak to no outside man, nothing. They can't ever look up. that's the rule? That sounds crazy. It, that, it, no, that's him out. That's just like you wearing your jewelry. He's wearing uh-huh. it. He's showing you his pimping. He's like, right. I could have told them bitches to look straight ahead. I could have told them bitches to stand in a circle. They, but I and told them to look down. Look down. Don't never look up. Don't talk to anybody except me or each other. I ain't gonna lie. And that's just this is how I knew I wasn't ready for pimping. <laughs> because my white bitch did that. My white bitch was just like, she she wouldn't look at no like other pimp. Is ready for pimping. Pimp Juju said, Pimp uh, I was Pimp Juju and Pimp and Ken. And they both stepped to me and said, it's a young player, you don't know what you're doing right now. I said, I gotta whip me leave her alone. And she just kept looking at, that's how I knew she was more experienced so, than so me. So niggas who pimp and niggas right. who have pimp game and are of it. We, oh, we do wait, this. so it's a difference. Pimping and having pimp game. I, I like the way you broke that out. Because having pimp game means that I probably could apply it, but I just, I'm just i doing other shit I don't, I don't right, know. Right, right, right. Pimping is stressful, man. That's pimping just, is stressful. Turn, break that down for us, short. The, man, you tell, you're telling a woman to do the stuff she's doing. There mm-hmm. are fucking, like, repercussions to that shit, man. Like, mm-hmm. mentally, like, it, it fucks. 
people's heads up. So you got to deal with that shit. Because you telling them to go in the car, suck you're saying, them off. And you saying, don't fuck with nobody but me. So when every time, every emotion she goes through is coming to you. So let me ask you something. After they do that, they mm-hmm. give you the money. Mm-hmm. Do you have to make them feel like your girlfriend? Like, how? They got to feel love. You got to do they all gotta this shit. They got to feel love. You got to do this shit, man. It's a lot of shit. Mm. Like, if you want to really... They're actually your chick. If you want to be a boss pimp, you have to be focused. That's what you do. I've never heard this term. Did you say boss pimp? Yeah, that means you're in control. You're on a, on a run for a while. You, you, you got and you could go to another state, but she's still... You're still a boss pimp. And you know what they call that? Long range pimping. You can Hold send up. her anywhere. Hold Jesus up. Let's Christ, make some noise. Man. Hold up. Crazy, Let's man. make some noise for Long Range Pimpers. <laughs> Yo, I, I heard of Long Range 5. I'd be like, my, your homie over there, I'd be like, Long Range. No, nigga, you should, be able, you should be able to leave her in Hawaii. Pimp. You fly back to L.A., and mm. you come back three months later, and she got like 47000 mm. And just be like, here. She didn't, fucking everybody she, else. She didn't protect the money. She didn't protect it herself. And now, now do you have to have herself. sex with these women, or you just... You could just if so. This this is where I get fucked up. Cause right, I, you can break you know, it down for me, sure. Because I'm I'm a la- um, what do you call it the lamest. Because now the lamest. I've always layman. I've always considered myself to be a pimp and a player. I do have the pimp game, but so I don't. What do is it. Uh, what is the difference between pimp and a player? Player, you just you got the game to just run a bunch of chicks, but you don't want any interest uh-huh. in their money or them selling that. You just a player. Ah, right, you just You're a player. Okay, player the game. You get money. You and then pimp, you, know? you getting you get you getting salary. You actually, yeah. yeah. So, okay. So um, I consider myself to be a pimp player, man. It's just like, you know, I don't really Both. have... Yeah. yeah. I, we, we don't have to... Um, sure, I'm not going to lie. You made me pop my collar like 1,700 times. It's but cool. I'm going to keep popping. We'll play Is that it cool? Back. So, you know, if you, if you got to really get a lot of game, just play it back, listen to it. It's, you know, it's in mm. there. It's yeah, in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, the game I'm is always in there. Like, you really... I'm studying. It goes by I'm so I'm married. Fast, I'm, so I'm, I'm, I'm a lame. I'm sorry. I'm still, but, but in my mind, <laughs> I'm going to try to be a pimp like every time I go to sleep. Like yeah, I'm gonna try to. But we are we yeah. are all always students mm. of life. We are. Mm. We Bring are it down. Bring always it down. learning. We always learning. You know what? Mm. I was gonna tell you about my uh, my uh, Dominican, Dominican story. Dominican story. Yeah, that's right. That's <laughs> right. He, he was Dominican story. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm Puerto Rican, just in case you thought I was Dominican, but it's okay. It's, it's all the same. By the way. It's a New York yeah, story, man. Okay, it's, New York. Let's do it. Let's do it. But I was um, you in the, you in baby Dominican Republic? I had a little. That's in New York too. I had a little run in with the um, with the uh. The hip hop police niggas hit me hit me up in the taxi cabs, mm. and I and just nigga had like um we had a strap in the car and we had a uh, uh-huh. like a little ounce of weed. We used to go up to um we used to go up to the candy shop in Harlem, uh huh. And you know get oh, the, get the, the good you shit. Oh, Brancy, my Brancy. You the, gotta call it the candy shop. We okay. know what you're talking about. The, we used to get the, well, good, the well, good that good shit in the, jo- good in the shit. jars. Yeah, in the jars or in the motherfucking triangle banger. Yeah. Look at yo, hold on. Fuck with my man Juice. Eddie, man. Yeah, Eddie. God yeah. bless the dead. You know he died. I did God bless the dead. Eddie, look, 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 first off, let me just let me just stop too short right now. He just flossed on everybody <laughs> on a real New York. This is the in the real New York Times. He just mentioned Branson. What you say? Daytime in Branson. Eddie, Eddie, that's who run the spot. Yep. That was my nigga. Let's continue your story. Go ahead. So you know we 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 uh we riding around and shit and the niggas. Pull us over in these fucking taxi cabs. Mm. None of them got on uniforms. Uh-huh. They fucking uh, flashing badges and shit. They actually take us out, put us, it's four niggas in the truck. They right. put each of us in a different cab. And I get right. in there, it's like three niggas in each cab. <laughs> they jump in my truck, drive the motherfucker, and we right. go to like some 37th Street precinct, some shit somewhere, 36, 37. Just I don't know. Shit. <laughs> yeah, kick, kick, kick. Sound like New York already. <laughs> and, um, and, uh, and a nigga ended up, basically a nigga ended up at uh, Center Street. This is at 100 Center Street Ooh. down there. And I, I passed by, uh, I was in there for about a You was in the real, that's the first, first off, right now, if they lock you up up there, mm-hmm. they have a preaching they bring you to. That means that back in the days, they had to lock you up up there and bring you all yeah. the way downtown. So yeah, we in there, this is in about a day and a half or a day, mm-hmm. and then they got bailed out a little later. But um, right. I walked by uh, this one holding tank. And I seen these jet jet black ass niggas, like black ass nappy head niggas in there, right. in there all speaking Spanish. Mm. And I just was like, that shit weird to me to fuck out. I, I just didn't know. I didn't. Yeah, you thought they was black. I didn't. I didn't. Yeah, you didn't think it was black <laughs> Spanish people? 
Yeah, yeah. No, nigga, Nobody I, does know that. On, on, on the West Coast, on the West Coast, we ain't got no nappy head <laughs> niggas that speak Spanish. Mexicans don't have many black. You ain't seen much driver people. yesterday. No, my nigga. driver yesterday is blacker than me. I'm saying like, <laughs> we don't have nappy head niggas that speak Spanish. <laughs> right, 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 right. So I get back up, I get out of jail, I go right. to Jive Records. I was like, I seen the weirdest shit in jail. Right. <laughs> right. These dark skinned niggas speaking right. Spanish with nappy right. hair. They said, nigga, the Dominicans. The Dominicans, that's a fact. Let's make some noise. Let's make some noise for two short niggas with the Dominicans. God damn it. Hey, come on, you're home, you're home. After that, mm-hmm. after that, I made a point. I said, I'm gonna meet some of these Spanish niggas, like for real. Yeah. So I met the uh, the, uh, the Dominican niggas, right? Mm. At the gas station, and they they, they popped at me on some. Uh, man, we uh, we know you, man. You too short, blah blah. You know, random shit that happens in New York. I don't get spotted right. a lot back then, back in the day in New York. Right. And uh, they said uh, they got the good weed, mm. and they sent me up to. Um, I don't know, man. I just, you know, you might get the okay. Yeah, I'm telling you, Dykeman. They, they, they sent me up to like 184th, Washington Heights. Yeah, Dykeman. Heist. That's it. Washington Heights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Washington Heights. Yeah, yeah. What up? And mm-hmm. then basically, if I wasn't going to Branson, I was going up there, but I smoke right. good. I used to hang out in New York a lot. Yeah, I smoke, yo, I smoke yo, good. Listen, let me tell you something. There's, there's not a lot of. Listen, listen. What he just broke down for you, there's people in New York who couldn't get weed in Branson because you had to have a certain type of plug. Yeah, to be accepted. You had to be accepted in Branson. One time I went in Branson, Red Man was back there that's serving the, the weed. That was my sponsor. Oh, that's, who, that, that's who gave me my plug. Red Man was Red me Man. In. Let's I make the- some noise for Red Man. <laughs> Boys being a weed head. <laughs> God damn it. I went there that's one who, time. That's who took me there. I was, I, I was like, yeah, good yeah. to go. Though, I, you know, I'll, I'll tell you one time I went to Branson. I'm going to keep it real with you too short. It's one of my idols. It's going to hurt me to tell a story. <laughs> but I'm going to tell a story. I went up there. It's the Puerto Rican Day Parade. I'm Puerto Rican. I'm sorry. Half. I'm half Puerto Rican. I'm you are Puerto black. Rican, but I'm just giving you But both you know, sides. yeah, thank both you, sides. thank you, thank you, thank you. So, but uh, this day, I'm Puerto Rican. Right. Right? So I go to Brands and I buy my shit. Bobby Brown pull up in the 600 bins. To me, it was like Prince. <laughs> when he pulled up, purple smoke pulled out. <laughs> it was the 600 bins. I was like, damn. Like, you know, I know niggas got 600 bins. But I ain't actually seen it. <laughs> Bobby Brown pulls up, right? Bro, T.S., what's up, nigga? So he pulls up. Boom, Bobby Brown pops out. Pshh. So he goes in Branson. I'm sitting there like, oh, shit. It's Bobby motherfucking Brown. He look at me, though. He look at me like this. <laughs> like, like I'm right here. He look at me like this. <laughs> <laughs> and then he go in Branson, right? I'm like, damn. Niggas is like, you supposed to say hi. I'm like, I don't know. The nigga eyes is right next to my shit, <laughs> right? Bobby Brown comes out. And then he go, yo, it's the Puerto Rican Day Parade, right? Mm-hmm. I think me, Pun, Joe, we all on the float this day. But I, I had took a break afterwards. I finished what we had to do. And I went up town. And then Bobby Brown said to me, this is mad racist, by the way. <laughs> he said Which to race? me. Is it racist? <laughs> he said to me. Ain't you Puerto Rican? I said, yeah. He said, you ain't got no coke on you. Oh. <laughs> yeah. hey, I was like, that happens to no, all the time. Yo, it's, no, it's no, a positive no, no. side to that story. Because though. you got to realize, in New York City, if you're from New York City, it's a couple, there's a couple of us here. When the Puerto Rican Day Parade shut down, like uptown to the right, right. it shut down too because they, they, they all over there. And so when they went there, I guess Bobby went there. He couldn't he couldn't get nothing from the Coke spot. So he he said, "Yo, ain't you ain't you, ain't you Puerto Rican?" And I'm like, "Yeah." He's like, "Take me over there." Tony, get and that. And I was yeah, like, yo. "Damn, why why do you think I could get you the Coke because I'm Puerto Rican?" <laughs> Let's make some noise for Bobby Brown for being the wildest yeah. nigga I met. God damn it! I was gonna say there's, there's a positive side to that story. Just let's get the positive. Side. I mean, you saw who was he with? He was with his security. Okay, well I know I know the nigga sometimes would be like without security. Well, in that same bins riding up in any motherfucking hood, right. asking any random nigga. That's my nigga. Anybody. Nigga, that nigga, hey. Yeah, that, Bobby. That takes a certain cloth to, to be that kind of nigga, to man. To be that kind of nigga. You know what I'm saying? You, right. you, you said, come on. He would have right. went with you. Yeah, yeah. I'm, gl- for, I'm luckily for, I did. For, for good or bad. He because this is my hero. Like, you know, I'm younger. It's because uh, I'm younger at this you time. You mentioned him twice already, Bobby. Who, Bobby Brown? Yeah, Listen, yeah. we need Bobby twice. Brown wherever you at. Yo, if we had him on the Wherever chance, you at, we need you. crazy. Too short is in here, man. I'm, I'm telling you, Bobby's a classic, man. Nah, Bobby's he's, my he's, nigga. He's, he's a classic, He's though. always been my nigga. <laughs> I remember um, when Ja Rule was actually filming the video, I, um, uh, when Ja and uh, Bobby Brown, and I actually, uh, I was in L.A., 
You was at that video? Nah, it was not the it's video. The video. They always I say he was through. high as hell at the video. Nah. <laughs> oh, the ecstasy video. Sean sure going yeah. in. Sure. No, I'm saying that's, that's called the ecstasy video. High five. You knew that. I feel like we going to Jack and Nelly's yeah, yeah, yeah. story. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> ecstasy was ruling shit at one point. <laughs> let's, let's make some noise for ecstasy, goddamn. <laughs> come on, come on. Come on, everybody. White girl, come on. I don't know. Everybody, everybody, everybody. Hey, Yo, listen, short yeah, yeah. man. I really appreciate you for coming out, Hell being yeah. a great sport. Are you going to drink the champagne with us? I mean, I, I keep it hard. I'm, I'm you keep, pause. We, 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 what, are, what are you doing? Short? <laughs> what is that? My tie? For now, it's a vodka. <laughs> we, we, my tie. We, we, we switch. It's a little. Um, it's just a little regular. We switch. Vodka. Up. All right. All right. I, I want to have a one with short. Excuse me, Raul. Raul, shout out Sidebar. Raul, you know that you, you got you got the other Raul. This is yeah. Raul T S. We got Raul Sidebar. Y'all recognize each other? What's up with it, baby? That's my brother. And we got a shout out Slowpoke, man, for making this happen. Yeah, oh, yeah DJ Slowpoke. Slow Slow Can we get two vodkas and pineapples? Cause I gotta have a a, a drink with. Ah, uh, um, what you got close to pineapple? Like apple. All right, orange juice. <laughs> it works for me. So too short, man. Yeah. You been coming to Miami for a long time. Yep, I fuck with Miami too. Yeah, you got no Luke stories, no two life crew yeah. stories. Yeah, I mean Luke, man, I've been on, I've been on the goddamn uh, Luke's peep show twice. So I mean, oh, shit, some shit. No, but, but, the boat but, back in the How Can I Be Down days, that some shit I was happened. On the but boat but how did shit. you feel when Luke they tried to parental advise with him? Because you had to be right behind him. If they would have did that to you, you know him, what? they would have did that to you. You know what? Just like you said, you see me walking through smooth. I walk through that shit real smooth. They never came they never knocking at my them. door. They fuck with NWA. They fuck with the Ghetto Boys. They two fuck with. Yeah, they, they never and hollered at me. you was pimping for real. They never hollered at me. I don't even Let's know. make some noise for Too Short for escaping. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on. He invaded yeah. it. You invaded I, it. I couldn't run from so the So they post. never, like, um, what's, what's the chick name? Uh, that that fuck with uh, Tupac. Tipper Gore. Tipper Gore. Tipper Gore. Yeah, that bitch. Al Gore's wife. She, she, was, yeah. she, was, she was trying to shut everybody. They, ne they never had my name on the they list. They were talking about the shit I was doing, which if they would have passed some laws, they probably would have affected me. But Why? I don't know. Think about this. What do you think about uh, the fact that that shit could have actually happened? What if it had been like we live in a what? country where they said you can't cuss on your rap songs? Mm. That would have been crazy. It would have been yeah, like I would have never, never existed. Hitler and the we we would have never existed. I would have so, never know, met you. No, that's how I think about it. It would have been like bootleg and liquor. We would have been out there in the street slanging dirty oh, raps. Yeah. <laughs> it would have been more right. expensive. We'd maybe make more money. Yeah, it would have been money. I'd have been oh. out of it. That, like that, prohibition, straight up. And you still, I just wanted to ask you this question before we wrap it up. Mm -hmm. You still actually love this life. I swear to God. You see it in his face, man. You still, like, uh, uh, <laughs> did you, 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 and you never fell in love with this life. It's for, out of love, excuse me. Uh, I'm going to tell you like this, man. I, I ain't really, like, too fond like, of, like... like, you with the jail and all that. Like, you, you just came home, like... Uh, I was only in jail five weeks, nigga. I five wasn't, weeks. I wasn't all right, let's make some noise for you still going to jail. Yeah. God damn it. You can still come high home five. for five high weeks, high though. Yeah, yeah, high <laughs> five. High <laughs> five. <laughs> but, you, but you still going to jail? Okay. Man, hey, you know what, though? I didn't, I didn't go to jail as a young nigga. Right. I was... I think I was... Jet set but you went grown ass man go to jail. You went to jail as a grown ass man. Yeah, so like, how, how, how was your bunkies? They had to be like, too short. Watch out. Too short is here. You, you got to go look my nigga up. The, the, the nigga that was uh, next to me, uh, uh -huh. he's, uh, he's got a, a high profile case in L.A. They call him the, uh, the Grim Sleeper. Oh, shit. That don't even sound right. <laughs> yeah, he sounds dangerous. <laughs> Look, and, let's, and, let's break down the Grand Sleeper. Come on. Extremely polite, brother. Intelligent. Talk to you. Uh, that, those are the dangerous guys. <laughs> that that sounds dangerous. like a serial murderer. Yeah, whenever right a guy there. is respectful, he can uh, kill you. Nigga was showing yeah. him how to, how, how to cook with just some hot water and shit. Mm, <laughs> you, know, mm. you know what I mean? We, we wasn't, I was in a spot where the celebrity shit, though, where you can't, uh, right, uh, you know, yeah. nigga can't actually walk up on you and shit. You right. know? I was, right. I, was, I, was, I was just chilling. But... <laughs> Talk about that guy. <laughs> you go look him up. He's on, I, just, I just gave you what you and he, Google. And, and, and he helped. He, he, he was in you. He, he was on me. He was on me. Because he was, uh, because he was high profile. Yeah, yeah. It's, that's where the high profile person, that's where I was mm. at. That, that, I was in the same spot Suge Knight was at, but mm. previously, for me to get in there, they had. Because uh, there was a rumor Suge Knight tried to sign you at one point. Shit, you might try to sign everybody at one point. Yeah, I would assume right, for right. sure. Tell me about that, Short, before you he leave up Hammer, out there. Hammer from the Bay, too? Yeah. Yeah, they put me in a jail where Chris Brown was at and shit. That was in that jail. It was, right. it was just chill jail. It was chill, right. man. You get TV right in front of your cell. They mm. just, you know, niggas just mm. nobody fuck with you. Mm. But um, Suge Knight came to me like he came to everybody else. You right. know, I'm doing my own thing. I'm independent. I've, you know, I've never, uh -huh. had, I've never had a boss. I've never been signing nobody. Right. And uh, he just said, um, he said, the West Coast is, he said, Death Row is home to the West Coast. 
<laughs> I and know I'm where like, this is going. Let's go. Like, yeah, I'm like, for mm-hmm. sure, for sure. You know, you know, and you knew where it was going sure, too, right? Sure. <laughs> so he's like, he's like, man, c- come on over to Death Row. I'll get you off Jive. Wait, yep. hold on. I need you to say that one more time. How he said it? Come on, come on over to Death Row. It, sound, I get you, it I, sounded like it. It sounded like the Sauce Awards. Let's make some noise for that. I get you God damn it, man. Right. Hold on. He said, come on over to Death Row. So, you know, I ain't, I'm not a scary nigga. Right. Because <laughs> I fuck with some real niggas that we, right. don't got, we have no reason to be scared. Right. And then, um, right. I'm a smart nigga. But so, where's this at? We're, 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 we're this? in a fucking nightclub in, uh, in Atlanta. In a, wait, well, Shug was in Atlanta. And you was running Atlanta at that time because you was like the was, first person was, to bust I was, I was Atlanta. A fact, I was a factor in the city. I was, you okay. know. I and fucked, he still I fucked said, the... "Come on over to Death Row." Yeah, and um, it wasn't me. wasn't being a bully. He was right. saying this shit like two niggas talking. He was right. like, you know, he Matt, was actually a cool dude. Actually, he, he was being. Right. I could see it that it was like a push kind of because the mm. nigga actually kind of probably put a little weight, like, like you know, right. like he didn't, he didn't, it wasn't a, no kind of threat, but he kind of like I felt a little weight, like right. the nigga was like at the time he said it, mm. I'm like leaning. So, so he's kind of pushing up on me a little bit. Mm-hmm. But in a, in a friendly kind of way, and I just said, um, I was like, man, I ain't trying to, right. ra- I ain't trying to rap no more, man. I'm, I'm starting to label. I'm about to be, I'm do my label. That, I'm that's to where I'm at it. right now. I ain't trying to rap no more. Okay. Yeah. But you know, that was like 1995 or some shit. It's so 20 years on, later. Man, I'm still rapping. Out. Death row. Cause I also heard Jay Z try to sign you too. Nah, I, that, Jay never tried to sign me. Jay, Jay just would always call me to do some work with him. He oh was, yeah. yeah oh, he, so that that room was false. He never tried to sign me. I probably right. would have. You probably would. I probably would have went that route because just you know, just to be around that environment. No, they, they respect you like a motherfucker. Yeah, I would, Everybody I, respect you. Short, just in case you don't know. I would talk. Let me let me just let me just tell you, you are well respected, well connected. We I, love you on the East Coast to the West Coast to the Middle South. Route, man, we walked that route. Down South, you are a guy who laid out the platform for all of us to do it. You still as cool as hell. I can't believe how cool you are still. You was a motherfucker. Hey, I'm going to be honest. When the interview is over, I'm just going to ask you, how can I be as cool as you? <laughs> That's all I want to do. Like, I want to ask you because you're the coolest guy. You, you like, how, 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 how you do that? Like, and you still love the game. Like, I keep asking you in different ways. Like, why, would, so why are you the guy that say, so fuck man, hip-hop? I told you I used, I used to be in the studio right. with the OGs. My first studio experience was some old professional mm. niggas. Mm. And these niggas had, some of them, you know, was in it. Some of them had, had came and went and, you know, they, they talked about the days when they toured the world and they was in the right. band or whatever. Right. And the niggas said, um, one of the niggas was, was one of the members of the Dramatics. He was one of the oh, niggas. Shit. But he was one of the niggas that got kicked out the group. <laughs> and he, he experienced a few hit records and, and you know, nigga toured and, he, and then the shit left him. Mm. And he was like, man... He was like, dude, whatever you do, he was like, he said, man, I feel like you're gonna be somebody. He was like, to you, well, yeah. He okay. was like, whatever you do, when you make it. Mm. He said, don't forget to have fun. And I kind of mm. like took that shit. That's life. I just kind of like took that shit and kind of adapted it in my own way. That okay, we we going on our first tour. We ain't, you know, niggas is out there deep, the deepest shit. Right. Niggas is out there complaining, right. fucking, you know. I mean, we right. we, we we love LL, but LL used to not talk to rappers. Mm. Nigga didn't want to be friends with you. Wow. I'm talking about, I don't give a fuck where you was from. Niggas like, I don't like rappers. He wouldn't hang out. I've been on tours with LL. LL? Yeah, yeah. he went on different. Oh, my on God. Big Huge story. Yeah, that Damn. nigga, he, would ha- he had it rigged so that he could get from his dress room to the stage. And you couldn't even see, you wouldn't even see him. They was, had mm. uh, different ways to get in there and shit, man. Wow. But I'm just saying, uh, I just, I was the opposite of that type of shit. Where I just was like, man, I'm about to go in everybody's dressing room. We gonna smoke. We gonna chop Wild it up. Out. You know what I'm saying? I'm, fu- I'm fucking with everybody. I'm, you know. That's nah, that, that's been a rumor about you. Is like, nigga, I used you to go. Tripping. I used to do a show. Uh huh. Fifteen thousand motherfuckers in the crowd. I would get off stage, and then it, I was on tour. Like the first tour I went on, NWA, mm. the, the one in the movie, straight out. Wait, time out, time out, time out. Let's break that down because you can't. You saying it very nonchalant. Yeah, hold on, hold on. The one in the movie, obviously. Hold on. But, but he said it's so too cool. He said the one in the movie. That's exactly. <laughs> Yo, listen, listen. This is this <laughs> crazy. This set, set hip hop. This is the one that shut down history. That, that, that whole era. You was on that tour. I'm the group that went on right before NWA. Get that's the fuck. Easy E called me. Was like, let's go on tour. You seen it? Right. That's on, amazing. Man. Wait, so we gotta make some noise. Yeah. Let's make some noise. Yeah. Yeah. God damn it! God damn it! That's history right there. Yeah, you make me forget me. my story now, man. Nah, <laughs> you went on tour with uh, N.W.A. I'm that was the, I was. Was that was your first tour? But what, no, he was talking about how you interact with the crowd. Yeah, I'm telling. I used to go on stage, mm-hmm. do my show. 
15, right. 20,000 motherfuckers. And right after I get off stage, I grab one of the homies. Because uh. if you bring too many, or if you uh. bring security or something, you're going to cause a, cause a fuss. Uh-huh. Right after the show, in between my show and NWA, I would walk through the whole fucking crowd. Lights on. Uh-huh. And walk through. And people, you know, back then, niggas didn't have no camera phone. Right, right, niggas, right. Nigg- nigg- well, niggas didn't have they a pen. Niggas, right. just, niggas just would like, just be like, man, I, you know. Right. Just, hey, what's up? Right. And I just to Just want a pound. Home. They just want to give you a pound. People would say, well, your security. I'm like, nigga, you my security, nigga. Hey, you finna mm. do something to me? Like, <laughs> You know, you know Reggie and them did that shit, and Keith Murray and Red Man, they, yeah. they, right, they, yeah, they, yeah, them yeah. niggas what security nothing. They just walk around yeah. anywhere, yeah, yeah, this is true. any fucking crowd. I, I do the right. same shit. Right. I just test it out. I've never. No, but short. You was a like a king, man, of a whole coast. It's different, and you still to this day walk around the same way. It's cause uh, it's the love, man. It's the love. You be somewhere. Let's and, uh, make some noise for the love, goddamn. <laughs> Let's make some noise for the love. Hey, you be somewhere and somebody said, "Hey, man, you did you did something something. You made a song with my right. little brother mm. and love, love, something something. Just you made a song with my little brother. Some random ass rapper somewhere. And niggas like nigga, all these niggas over here, these my niggas. You good in here? Right. Because I made a song with his little brother. Right. So, so we good that night. Now nah, you always been good, man. It's the love. Short, I don't know what kind of. Well, I don't know what. Kind of deal you made with God, <laughs> but listen, it's, it's, I don't I don't care where neighborhood is at. It's the pay it forward short. philosophy, man. You got to pay it. You believe in that? You, but you learn a lot of shit in it's life. Karma, it's, I'm, I'm just talking karma about the knowledge. I ain't talking about material things. I'm just talking mm. about the knowledge. You got to give mm. it to everybody who deserves it, man. Mm. Pass the shit on. You learn a lot of shit. Mm. I feel like niggas could have gave me a lot of, you know, shortcuts. Could have helped me when I was a young nigga. Right. You know, you know, nigga had but to, they didn't help you, so you now you want to help other people. Yeah, say. but you know, certain people did help. You gotta okay. you go, you're gonna have this live and learn shit. Everybody mm-hmm. gotta go through their journey. But help niggas, man. This past the game on a little bit. I we, think we gotta make noise for help niggas, God yeah, damn it. <laughs> Help niggas, man. Help motherfucking niggas, man. Yeah. Listen, and you know what, short? You're such a great guy. Yo, when you was on Jive, I, I I believe you called me. I did a record with you for your album, mm-hmm. correct? I forget. What was the name of the album? I forget. You can't fuck with us with That's what it was. You can't fuck with us. Oh, that's what it was. Wait, wait. Tell me. Tell me. Is Haz on point? Yeah. Haz is Google. Hold on. I'm doing my job. What's the name? You can't fuck with us. Who else was on there with us? Petey Pablo. Petey Pablo. Petey Pablo. He just came home, too. So you just like fucking with street niggas. Because, I mean, how did you know to fuck with me? Because I was a foul nigga at that time. You still are. Uh, I might have been here. You still are. You still are. You still are. You still are. I might have been platinum, but I was a foul the, nigga the, on the, the point, street. The point of the song was niggas who are, niggas who are reputable in their own, own area. <laughs> right. Just, and, just, and it was like, yeah. you know. That was a dope record. Because I was so, I was, I was so honored, but I was like, do he know I'm, I, I'm like, Cause I, you like can't, I might shoot somebody when I leave no, the like, studio. You can't, make like, a, you can't make a statement, you can't <laughs> fuck with us if there's no us. Who, you, got, mm, you, you had high us. Five. High five. So you now, knew. It, come on, man. You knew what you do. And then Petey Pablo did a jail time, like, this is a. This I, is I know in in North Carolina where he's from, <laughs> yeah. the, the city rides with him. And look yeah, at that, yeah, nigga. Yeah. This, this the the city. I have I have done concerts like you know you go to a city probably like mm-hmm. hour and a half two hour drive from where you from. Mm. I have done concerts and took damn near all of Oakland with me. Mm. We, nigga, we show up a thousand deep, like mm. and they like. Uh, <laughs> Like, no, nigga, we all coming in. <laughs> it's motherfucking. It's motherfucking right. Nigga, we, nigga, we do that. We still do that to this day. Yeah, we do to that. To this day. To this day, I'm a uh, foul nigga like that. They just ask me how many I got. I'd be like, four. And then when I show up, I'd be like, 400. I'd be like, I said four. <laughs> 400 is <laughs> light, actually. I said four. Yeah, 400 is light. Yeah, but too short, man. I, I can't thank you enough for so just good. coming out, sitting down, you know, being a great sport about it. All this is about is just... Hip hop fans getting to understand and 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 hear these stories. But before you go, I want to say, how did you and E Forty ever hit, hook up? Because he's another, uh, yeah, yeah, Bay Area well, legend. E Forty, and because that's that's still your younger homie. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little, I'm a little older. I got him by a couple okay. years, two, two okay. or three. Okay, E Forty and his uh-huh. brother D Shot, okay, was in the game. They were street niggas. Okay, and. You know they they dabble they 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 just they move some weight around mm. so that that's what dabble mean yeah they was dabbling we, we, in the we game. learned something today let's make let's make noise we're learning something today <laughs> dabbling god damn it but they, probably, they probably did a little more than dabbling dabbling okay. just dabbling just playing around dabbling just a little bit yeah, they, they, okay they, they, yeah. I was just trying to be a PC all right that's okay that's okay so um they actually used to do business with my niggas who I rode with to this day my nigga niggas my niggas right. Right. they was they was youngsters getting money right. together right. so. There's a thing in the Bay where you kind of, um, you know, we, we over here in Oakland. 
30 mm. miles over in Vallejo, these Vallejo niggas and these Oakland niggas is like, all right, we're going to get down together. Right. Then you got a city like Richmond. Mm. And Richmond, That's where Master P came. Yeah, so Richmond niggas and Oakland niggas is like, we don't really fuck with each other. It's okay. not no gang shit, but it's just like, right. we just a little too wild to be friends because it, right. it never turns out good. Y'all too wild mm. to be friends with us, we too wild. So mm. we kind of try to either avoid each other or it's just... It's just it's just maniac, right? Maniac shit. So um, okay. So Vallejo niggas and Oakland niggas always been like kind of like sister city type shit. So we uh, them niggas fuck with us. Right. And E40 was my homie forever and ever and ever and ever. But we never right. made songs together. We just, we was just homies. We was the same. We'd see each other. The clicks. Everybody know each other. I know right. all his little brothers. I know his sister. I know the whole shit before we ever made a song. Wow. And we did a, a concert one of those radio stations, Summer Jams. Mm. Summer Jam. Summer Jam. Mm. And the niggas, um, they had, uh, it was, uh, you ever heard of the Loonies? Yeah, of course, of course I did. Okay, on, so man. the Loonies had I, a record. I'm offended that you should yeah, ask. Of course. <laughs> of course I heard of the Loonies. Okay, yeah, so the you. Loonies, my homies, right. my young homies. Who, who, got five they, on it. They yeah. come from the cloth, man. They come from what, right. I'm, what I'm from, the trinkle down, the game. The niggas who put out their records was my homies. I they, love they his like slang. Family. He said the trinkle down. That was yeah. crazy. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. Can I take slang? I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to make it make something. They come from that. So, um. So the Loonies had this song out called Player Hater, and they st- they was mad at me about this whole story. I can't tell you. They was mad at right. me on some on some inside shit. Right. And they said some shit about me in the song. They said that's why the town got rid of Short, and they said it a year after I moved to Atlanta. So they insinuated and started this little buzz that maybe the Loonies was like, "Nigga, you gotta move out of town. Nigga, you, got, you can't be in Oakland no more." They like some wow. shit. So I'm in Atlanta having the time of my life, still right. mad as fuck at this bullshit. Wow. So, the radio station is holding what would be the Hot 97 right. Summer Jam. It's, it's 106 in Atlanta, in, the, in, in, uh, in, uh, in, in Oakland, in, in the Oakland. Bay. It's, it's uh, KBL 106 uh-huh. Summer Jam. And I'm, I'm the nigga who the radio station came to when they first started doing Summer Jam and said, hey, we need to like get some urban support. Can you be on the show? And I'm like, cool, I'm with you. So I'm, I'm like feeling like this kind of, they're supposed to be my friends. I help these niggas. Right. They was a rock station. Wow. And turned into an urban station, and they asked niggas like me, can you come help us? Went over to community. So I'm like, that shit means something. Mm-hmm. And they played this record and put it in rotation where it said, that's why the town got rid of short. One line. Damn. And, and that was the loonies. Yeah, and I'm okay. like, I'm like a nigga like this. I'm like, nigga, you don't, you, it's, not, it's, not, it's zero disrespect. It's not gonna fucking happen. It's just not, we don't walk away from this shit. We, uh. I'm not gonna rap about you. So, right. nigga, something's gonna happen. So I called the radio station. I was like, yeah, I'm coming to the concert. They, they didn't want me on the show, of course. All right. they, they told me, um, you know, I moved to Atlanta. We, we, we kind of like supporting the local artists and shit. You moved away. So wow. I'm like, well, I just want to come see the show. They gave me four sticker passes. <laughs> That's the shit you put in your chest? Yeah. Nigga, we okay. rode up there to about 60 niggas. <laughs> right. Four niggas in, one nigga out. Four right. more niggas in, one right. nigga out. He came out with the three passes. Right. <laughs> with the extra right. three. Nigga, we still by, do that. By, yeah. Damn. Make some noise for Too Short and Vinny. Vinny the slime pass. That's called the slime code. So, okay. before they realized what had happened, we 60 East Oakland niggas in the concert, no authorization. We just in there, nigga, and we being, right. we being real cool. All right. We ain't got no problem, but it's 60 niggas, 60 right. grimy niggas, and I'm requesting shit. Right. I'm like, nigga, I need for y'all to walk me out on the stage and tell the crowd, me and the loonies gonna tell the crowd, it ain't nothing but love. And we right. just, it just had to happen. Right. And they was like, oh, we're going to do this and this and this and that. And they wouldn't do it. And I'm like, The Nigga. loonies. The loonies was with it. They were the little homies. They, okay. they, they, Shout out to Yuck Mouth. They All walked, right, yeah, they walked up to us and they was like, man, what we got to do, whatever. The concert people wouldn't, wouldn't let it happen. I'm like, oh, you're saying the I'm car? Like, okay. we got to kill this motherfucking shit. Ain't nobody right. telling about the loonies is my enemies and we running right. away. We're going to just walk out and just say, it's just love. Right. That's all I wanted to tell the people. Right. And they was like, no, nah, I wouldn't do it. So... We had we sat down. Well, let me let us holler at the, the manager. The manager, nigga, my nigga, uh, C and H is my nigga. It's uh, my homie. Right. And we went in this back room. We we supposed to be hollering at one of the concert promoters. We back there, and then the shit get out of hand. Niggas niggas uh, lumped up the Looney's manager a little bit. Oh, shit. Mm. And we didn't know this is where it was going. But so, yeah. <laughs> so the nigga yeah. got lumped up and curled all up and shit and all this shit. And it, it wasn't even real ass for it. It was just like a blue, blue, blue. Like, nigga, okay, a blue, blue, blue. Yeah, yeah, shut up the bullshit. We bush, heard about those. Mr. Bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we walk out. Now we got the mob. The mob is not satisfied. They uh-huh. like kind of hungry. And then we walk through the crowd and we just like, we not doing nothing to nobody, but we just not happy. 
mm. and we kind of moving around. And it just we went and we went and like took a little section. You know, like you make niggas like just take their shit. Uh-huh. We took a little section. We gonna watch the next act. Somebody come on the scene, and then uh-huh. everybody that was just the powers that be just didn't like what they saw. They just mm. didn't like it. That they just it was just nervousness, and they canceled the show. They canceled like the last two acts. They wow. canceled. Uh, it must have been like the Isley Brothers and E Forty. E Forty was headlining. Uh-huh. Twenty five, thirty thousand. And you people. had never met E Forty. No, at we that was time? homies. Oh, okay. We was homies. Nigga, I got your number. My number. That's my nigga. Right. And they right. canceled the show. Wow. E-40 had spent, like, maybe, like, you know, a lot of grip on some special show he was going to do with right. stay, the big show of the summer, and right. they canceled it. Wow. And they went and told the nigga, we canceled you because it's too short. Now, mind you, we wasn't, ah. we wasn't fighting. We wasn't mobbing. We wasn't fucking with the people. We just, we just kind of, like, did the little thing in the back, back area right. and left right. watching the show. But they were nervous that they couldn't control the shit. So but they, you had had not met E Forty prior to rap. You, I knew E Forty before we was rapping. I knew okay. him while we was early days. The early days, okay. we was just like, "What's up, nigga?" Like it wasn't. Yeah. Back in the day, r- niggas didn't rap together. Right. You didn't exactly. Care about, exactly. We make a record with you. We wasn't. Yeah, yeah. Was, that wasn't even an idea. Right. You make right, your right. album. I make my album. Exactly. So it's, we just was. What's up? We hang out. Whatever. Right. We was tied a little bit with D Shot. D Shot's his little brother. That's my nigga. Right. Forty is my nigga. But that's D-Shot. not be legit. Nope. D Shot's forty. The, the click. They was in the click. Okay. So, Monday morning comes, the radio uh-huh. station, the, the show was probably like Saturday or Sunday. Monday morning mm-hmm. comes, the radio station does a fake caller pretending to be too short. No way. And the nigga calls up, it's like, nigga, yeah, nigga, niggas didn't want to let me on stage, nigga. I don't give a fuck if it was E40, E1000, nigga, if short don't get on stage, no way. The nigga's calling, talking shit on the morning show. Wow. Phone and th- starts ringing. Sway. They, this Sway was probably going by then. Okay, cool. And they doing this joke. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, it's a bitch down there that's the program director or something. This bitch is sending out faxes and emails saying, Too Short is violent, short, ban, ban the nigga from rap and don't wow. ever play his music. All kind wow. of shit. So I'm like... I'm trying to blackball you. So I'm like, I'm taking this shit first. No, then, then, then the fucking phone rings. I don't even know the shit was on the air. Right. I don't even know the air. E-40 called me. Right. He was like, nigga, was you on the radio this morning? I'm like, nah, nigga. He's like, nigga, you didn't do such such. such. I'm like, nah, man. So uh, the niggas like we we stand up niggas. The uh, nigga say, so you telling me you didn't call the radio say you didn't say? It. I said, nigga, I don't know. Nah. He said, uh, oh, okay. And then he started spitting the game to me. E40's a real gamed up nigga. Right. So he started spitting. He's like, the radio station is trying to play games with us. Blah blah this and that. He's like, man, this, these folks, you know, we start talking about how much money he spent on his set. They didn't get into the show, and they personally told him it was too stretch fault. He was like, right. man, we not finna turn this in the neck because we know who we are. Mm. Yo niggas, my niggas, we know we not finna do that. We finna, uh-huh. He said, let's get in the studio and make some music. We made a song called Rapper's Ball. Uh-huh. Mm. And that's like, that was like a big record for us. That's the first record mm. we ever made. And Big record for your city. Big record for the Bay, yeah. It was, it was huge. It, it went everywhere. And, mm-hmm. and basically, the shit of, of a you know, corporate-type structure of motherfuckers in an office room trying to play some real niggas against each other kind of mm. made us tighter than we ever been. And we kind of, we were, we were cool as fuck. But after right. that, we made record after record after record. We started talking on the phone every other day. We kind of mm. like walking each other through each other's albums and shit. Niggas don't know, we was on Jive and we never really dropped in the same quarter. Right. So we would be like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crit- both, both bad. We'd be bad critiquing each other's that. albums while we making them. I'm like, mm, yeah, you finna hit them hard, nigga. Hell yeah, like, you know? <laughs> mm, and, and then I'm listening to him going, oh, shit, I got to get there and go hard because this nigga mm. gonna about, to, about to knock me off, you know? Mm. So we kind of, being friends and competitors, we kind of held each other down each on, other on, uh, on keeping, it, keeping that shit hardcore. Wow. Like, like, wow. For real. So before we get up out of here, Let's was go. you in the session with Big when you made the record? Oh, when me? the Remy's in my system, ain't oh. no telling that. I was in the, I was in the room. I was in the room. The he was in the room. Yeah, that's when his legs was hurting. Shit, he be sitting down rapping and shit. Oh, wow. Shit. Hell yeah. And then how about with Jay? Did y'all send the session? I, I did that session with Jay. Um, it was all good. Just a week ago, I did that shit. Um, I, I did the other song. Uh, remember, I was on um, uh. Real niggas do real things. Yeah. I don't know the words. Mm. I, I was on that song. He really wanted Scarface on that song. And and back then, them niggas, uh, it was that shit where them niggas used to love Tupac so much. Right. It was like UGK and, and niggas, certain right. niggas, they loved Tupac so much. They're like, man, I ain't work with nobody from New York. I'm just, you know, it was just, nah. it was just, it was. Short, it was, let me stop you right there. We love Short in New York. Let's make some noise <laughs> for Short in New York. <laughs> 
<laughs> he's trying to be humble right now. He's trying no, to be humble. I used to, nah. But now, look, I used to be telling niggas like this, man. Yeah. I, I, I talked to the niggas, Scarface, all the niggas. Actually, niggas, right. real talk. Back in the yeah. day, I'm like, nigga, go to New York. Right. It's gonna take your career to a new level. Yeah. Them niggas fuck with you. And right. we didn't we didn't know. Somebody had to tell you. Like right. I say, pass it on. Right. I didn't know. Nigga, I'm on the elevator and then nigga Bell hops in. Mm. I ain't never heard of you, man. Why you why you got on jury? Like, who is you? Mm. I said, nigga, I'm too short. Nigga, I sold a million mm. records. Mm. And nigga, like the bell hop, the bell I mean uh, Hotel New York. Nigga like, no, you didn't, nigga. Right. <laughs> wow. Never I never heard wow. of you. You couldn't have sold a million records. See, this is the crazy shit, is <laughs> is, is, is is you know what side are you telling? Because we always felt like, you know, we showed y'all love. And I like, told the bellman, nigga, yeah. I do shows with Big Daddy Kane. That nigga right. said, nah, no, yeah. you lying. Exactly. <laughs> right, 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 right. And you did do shows yeah. with Big yeah, Daddy yeah, Kane. Yeah, I did a lot of shows right. with Kane. Wow, wow. 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 Bismarck. That's just, Those tours were just, crazy. <laughs> wow, wow. Bismarck is my nigga, man. That's my I'm my homie. Like, I, I right. fuck with a lot of motherfuckers. Jam Master J was my nigga. That's my nigga. Like, yeah, that was crazy. Way back when. He was God things. bless him. God bless him. Yo, Too Short got the craziest stories, man. We, we just made seven. Let's make some noise for Too Short. Yeah, man. Coming out, hanging out. I was there. You were there. I told you, I just turned 50, nigga. I know some shit. KRS1 told us he turned 50 and he pulled out an AARP card. <laughs> Do you have an AARP card? Three bagels at Denny's. You, you got an AARP card? No. Let's no. see what kind of let card. Me, let, me <laughs> card let me see what kind of card you got. Let me see what kind of card. Yo, we need Sunny here. Where's Sunny at? <laughs> Woo! Cannabis car, goddammit. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Let's make some noise for Too Short being a super smoker. Oh, my shit. And my shit. Oh, Yo, man. Yo, Short. Sure. Right. Yo, this is legendary. I can't thank you so much, man. Listen, I, I can never repay you for this because I don't know um, if people understand what this is. There's people from the Bay Area. There's people from South Central. There's people from New York that all want to know your story. And right now... I mean, in a hip hop way. When mm -hmm. I say they know your story, but in a hip hop way, we're not journalists. We don't Google yeah. shit. We sit there. <laughs> just a conversation. I, I, I'm gonna be honest. I don't know how to Google, but I do know how to get the porn sites. So just figure that out earlier. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> it. Hamster. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. But and and we sit here with hip hop legend. We had Karis One sitting right there. This is correct. Right there. Right there. Karis One was right there. And uh, I was, I was, I was about to jive records. More, some more jive records. He was on jive the whole yeah, time. He was, he was on jive he records. Was. Yeah. Uh, we got Q-Tip that's coming to the uh, podcast. Another, another jive records. Jive records has exactly. some shit. That's why I'm bringing it up. Rest in peace, um, Five Dog. Rest in peace to Five Go. Exactly. And um, I can't thank you enough, my brother. Yeah, I really appreciate this. I was so excited. My brother DJ EFN told me, he said, yo, man, you know what I'm saying? Too Short is coming. And I, I, I don't know if you felt it when he was on the phone, but I kept going like this. Uh, I, heard, I heard that. I heard it. I didn't Yo, know where it did that come from, Short? Like, yeah. cause I every time I hear your name, I keep popping my collar. Is that cool? Yeah, that's a that's that's, that's a pimp gesture. That's, that's a straight, pimp gesture. Yeah, so, like, so you you like every time I, if I, if I'm not like yeah. if, like, if, like if I'm in um like if I'm in like Tucson, Arizona, and they say you want the too short um ribs or the too like, short. No, the, the older pimps used to wear the suits. Last and shit. I go like this. Yeah, you good. Ah, I'm good. I'm good. All right, <laughs> cool. the older, I want to make older, sure. The older pimps used to wear suits and shit, man. They, they really used to pop their collars. So, that, so they, they, had, had, they had collars. You don't have wait, a collar. Wait, wait. I didn't even know where the popping collar came from. So you had these certain characters that um they, they the whole time they talking to you. They, it's like mm. the nigga is so clean. He's just like, and you know, man, when wait. I was doing this, I just do like this and I just, and they just pop it. And it's just like, what kind of style you got? Like, nigga, I'm order this picture. And they talk like that the whole time they talking to you. Right. When they getting tailored or after they tell the, it? While well, the niggas just walk up talking to you. Niggas talking oh, in pocket. okay. Like, my nigga, my nigga, you know what I'm just talking, you know what I'm talking about? Like, like, am you I see, doing it correct? You see sure, me? Sure, give me right. Am I doing it correct when I'm doing it? Not, well, I, you wasn't popping your collar right there. You, no, you got, the, you got the one right hand right. popped together. Two, All right. The two, the two, the two hand. Let, you, let me look at you. Let me see you do it. I don't you, know you really got to be wearing a collar shirt, though. You got to pop your collar. You need a collar, but, man. You need a collar. Fuck a collar, man. Show me, show me, show me, show me. I got to need it. And I'm going to tell you something else. Okay. I told you. Okay. I come from a different cloth that the niggas with. I come from the finesse niggas. You don't necessarily have to. Do a lot of exterior. Cause right. you, you sitting there quietly, you told the bitch what to do, mm. and you just sitting there quiet. You don't you don't have to brag on it. You ain't you got another blank? Come on, sir. You feel me? Okay. Yeah, so you, it's, it's, I'm, I, come, I, I admire those kind of cats. I took on that that style of just not. But, but do they pop they collar? Uh, you kind of don't. You don't do the loud rhyme. You don't rhyme. Mm. You don't rhyme. You don't fucking dress too loud. You just mm. kind of like you run that game. and you. So, so sure, if I could be a temporary mm -hmm. pimp for like mm -hmm. one day, could you coach me? 
I'm, I've been telling you all day. <laughs> <laughs> I only gave you so much evidence. Anthony Robbins of yeah, listen, right listen, listen, you know, you know, I, I, I keep trying to tell you. I'm y'all. telling you now, though, man. It's, 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 when the bitch chose me, I didn't know what to do after it, that. I was it, like, oh shit, but she does, actually chose. Does the, does the chick ever pimp the dudes? Is it the jigglos? Is it jiggle does that pimps? happen? You, you will yeah. never become a boss pimp unless a bitch turns you out first. You could think anything you want, but she. I got confused right yeah, now. I'm, I'm, mad, I'm mad confused. Right, let's, I'm so, break okay, that let's down. go like this. You never uh-huh. pimped a hoe before, and you're mm. going gonna to turn a bitch out for the first time. So she's just getting turned out, and you just getting turned out. Y'all, uh-huh. What the oh, fuck yeah. y'all going to do together? Mm. A, a hoe who never hoed and a pimp who never pimped. Somebody got to give you that game. You got to go get your feet wet the best time. <laughs> let's make some noise yeah. for me being in school. That's, <laughs> that is real shit. That is real shit. The best time you ever gonna get is the first. You, you gonna get a, first, you, you first. might get a little junior hoe. She'll like, I do it for you. She might be fumbling junior around. Ho. Junior hoe. She I might like be fumbling this. around. But is that the high first school hoe? And then does the that make, does you, that make you a junior with, pimp? So you gonna knock another nigga? You, you the new young pimp. You right. the new young pimp. You gonna knock another, another nigga's bitch who been getting it. Mm. She coming over. You like this bitch? I've been having ain't never hoe like this. You got a super right. hoe down, right. and you like, oh shit. When once you got a super hoe. Uh-huh. And you adapt. You can't go read some of them books, man. You, Holy you, shit, this is and super you, hoes. And you sit there and you adapt. You ain't never letting her know that you can't hang with her, but you, you pimping your way into it. Uh huh. The next hoe you get, you're going to be harder and harder and harder. Like, you, you know, you, you mm. learn some shit from that super hoe. You learn. That's why when we should... the females teaching the dude. Where? You had the junior hoe, and you was like, oh, she bring me a little something. Now you got a super hoe. you like, then every hoe after that, you like, do you fucking know what hoe it is? That's why my bitch Don Juan, he gave me a famous player yeah. card. I, I wanted to give it back. I said, I, you guys are complicated. This is very complicated. But Your you, lifestyle is very hard style. But the famous player card, it's not a famous pimp card. It's just for the players, man. Because they, oh, they, all, they all know. Difference. I, it's a difference. It's they, a difference. Player. It's they a all know. I don't really be out there trying to pimp hoes and shit. I don't. I never. Mm. Same way I didn't sell. man. So you still just pimping promoters? Same let's make way. Some, let's make a high five for you pimping promoters still. Come on, everybody make some noise. Oh! Hey. <laughs> okay. It's what happens when you're too short. I mean, nah. I, I'm at the club in Las Vegas, mm-hmm. hanging with my folks at the table. Mm. The bitch walks up to me and hands me like seventeen, eighteen hundred, and said, you're the reason why I'm home, and walked away. She didn't tell me her motherfucking name. I didn't even see what she gave me until she was out of sight. I, looked, I was like... Nigga, a bitch just walked into me and it had to be this. And then what did you do to the 1700? Let's keep it real. We bought out. We just, we spent it. We, we, gave, it, we, gave, it back to, we gave it back Let's to the game. Let's make some noise. Too short. Keep it together. Keep it together. Too short. Give it back, give it back to the so, game, man. And, you, and, and she never introduced her name. I couldn't tell you what her face looked. I could never tell you. I don't even know. I don't know. Get Yo, the listen, let me tell you something. We got the legend too short in here. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. She paid it back to the game, man. I That's tried just... to pimp until the pimping came to me. Once the pimping came to me, I you didn't know what off. to do with the you bitch. You turned off. You turned and off. And then pimping kidding them niggas was like, you give me your bitch. Well, don't. And Juju. I say not, but but anybody, I, I, anybody that's listening, I, I knew enough to, not to know to give them my bitch. Anybody that's listening, that's <laughs> so I, I gave the bitch to like the trading to like, cards. Yeah, I gave the bitch to like um like the C or something. I threw her in the C. <laughs> I'm sorry. I apologize. Now, anybody yeah. that's listening. <laughs> Just remember this. Don't don't listen to shit about some pimp rules and shit. And, yeah, yeah, fuck and that. And think you're going to wake up and try to be a pimp. Tell them. It's em. not something Tell that em, you do. It's not something that you adapt to lifestyle. It, you mm. know, just like anything you do, you become an expert. You know. It's just it's mm. in you. It's in you. Yeah, pimping one I'm going to tell me. you right now, I, I love the art of it, but it's not in me. I don't like have the... Pimping yeah. powers. I don't, yeah, the passion that you see in me for, for hip-hop, the music, and the That's lifestyle... You. And I, I don't have that passion for pimping. Right. Nah, nah, nah. nah but nah. you had the passion more for hip-hop than pimping. I love the art of the pimp game. It's it's a beautiful thing. If you, mm. you know, what what is the best profession after pimping? If you've been a pimp, rapping. No oh, hell no. What do what I'm preaching. saying? What, thank you. That's what most pimps do. They start preaching. Say, preaching. Yeah. yeah, preaching. God damn, that's just God damn. related. Yeah, yeah. You got you you got to listen. Oh, the last like level of hustling <laughs> is being is owning a church. That's the last <laughs> that, level that, that of makes hustling. Me not want to be I'm religious. Not, I'm not, laugh, fuck, I'm not yeah. laughing at Christianity. I'm laughing at preaching, man. No, no, no. That is the last. Listen, every real religion, hustler, right? last hustle is being a preacher. I'm just telling you that. The preacher's and, pimping his congregation. Who gives a fuck? That's the last level of hustle. Let's make some noise for that guy there. Woo! Well, no, I'm, I'm going to put it to you another way. Now, yeah. let's say um, throughout your life, the way you learned how to be a pimp was that mm-hmm. you figured... I have the gift of gab. You told that to yourself. I know, the gift of gab is your main weapon 
and pimping. Mm. Unless, unless you're a gorilla pimp. Sounds you're like you're just talking your way Gorilla pimp is the punch of face in the bitch so, pimp. Uh. As you as you stare in the ugly face of pimping, you see a fucking hoe die on the job or some shit, murder, mm. or, or a junkie hoe overdose or just mm. the bitch life get fucked off and she end up in prison you never see again. Like, you know, mm. just the, the ugly side of it. The, the dark shit, side. The, the, shit that, the shit that fucks you up in the head. Cause mm. you seen how you took this little innocent girl who was a waitress. And you sent her on the block. And you fucking see what she ended up being and you like, damn, how am I in the eyes of God right. if I did this to her? And right. you feel, start feeling like a fucking monster. Like, it ain't for everybody in the right. long run. Right. So, what do you do? You, fi- you fucking step to the light. And you, mm. you go to the church and you start fucking really realizing that, damn, I've been walking the wrong path. And then you end up being a fucking preacher That's five, ten Bishop. years later. But the main thing is, why are you a good preacher? Because from day one, you had the gift of gab. You gift had the gap. motherfucking you swag. Some That's why Bishop Don so Juan old it man like, churches. It ain't like if a, if a pimp turned preacher, he's not he's not being wicked or he's not. Be, he might just really had went that path where he looked mm. at that ugly shit and, and he saw it and he went the other way. Well, so you know what I'm saying? Some but, of them might be wicked. Yeah, it might be, because but I'm just they saying know they, they don't get money. We, I don't want to be just saying some shit where it, it real shit though. That shit gets ugly. I, I know a church boy right now that pimped his ass off, and the only reason why he's a church boy because is because of what he saw in pimping. Mm. Fucked him up. Let's make some noise for the shit that fucked him up. Uh, <laughs> come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Can we, can we end on that man? Let's make for the shit that fucked him up. Yo, 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 too short. I just wanted to I'm, file a disclaimer on this uh, fly-ass yeah, pimp shit. Yeah, yeah, shit, yeah. This, this shit listen, ain't listen, always listen, I'm not going to lie. He wants a disclaimer right I'm now. I'm not going to lie. If you listen to Too Short's speech, yeah. you could pimp tomorrow. If you listen, listen yeah. I fucked up when the bit... Like I listen. Now you was a horrible pimp. Let's just now, stand up and say that right pimp. now. Like I went and I said, "Yo, you you gotta choose or lose." And the bitch said, "I chose." As soon as she chose me, I was like, "Oh shit!" She what thought about I, pimping you at that point. What did man? I do for me? Yeah. What did hey. I do for me? And I was fucked up. Pimp Juju, uh, Pimp McKen, uh, uh, Bishop Don Juan. They, they was they, they was, was, they, was they, all trying to knock my they bitch. Like, they was like vultures. But I was holding it down because I was like, they can't knock my bitch because I seen I seen the documentaries. So I was like, I'm not going to knock my bitch. But as soon as I left, I, I just left her alone. And that was it. So yeah, I knew I couldn't, I couldn't do it. There's two things you got to do to, to yeah. establish yourself. You, you, have to, you have to get a choosing fee, and you have to at least send it. Wait, her. wait. A, a choosing, choosing fee? fee? <laughs> what is that? That's when she pays you to be with you. So you mean to tell me as soon as she chose me, I should have said, bitch, a lot of, pay a, up. A lot of pimps set the bar <laughs> kind, of, kind, of, kind of steep, if you ask me. I don't know. They mm-hmm. like, you know, it's like... Five, ten racks. I heard five racks is a Whoa. good going right. I could have got, t- got, got a signing right? bonus if you I could have got a signing bonus. Yo, short. Where you been at my whole life? Yo, short. Start answering your phone, man. Look, we're going to exchange numbers. I was playing the wrong game for a long time. You mean I could have got a drink chance? Yeah. We get yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, short. Thank you so much for being a great sport. I'm going out yeah, here man. having us, man. Uh, look, look, look. Uh, mm. I'm just saying, man. It looked hey. like I had Kara someone right there. It looked like you drinking a Mai Tai. It it's not like a Mai Tai. It, like it. it looks Cheers, like it. Brother. Yo, short. Cheers, thank short. you so much, my brother. Easy on the pimping, y'all. Easy on the pimping. Nah, nah. You gotta, you gotta keep me nah, on the pimp. Nah, pimp responsibly. Like I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna pimp. I'm gonna pimp. Like um, pimp, um, pimp your dogs first before you go up after that. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pimp like in my mind. I'm gonna have short. Exactly. Run, run me through it in my mind, and then maybe. No, nah, I'm never gonna try it. <laughs> I'm never gonna try it. <laughs> but at least, at least short taught me. Yeah. Thank you, short man. I really hey, appreciate name, it, man. Hey. Every time a person say, "Bitch," how did that happen? Before we get out of here, it's a Cuban goodbye. That, is right that now. is that it's really your goodbye. favorite word? Yeah. Well, I told you I had a rap partner, uh, Freddie B. Mm-hmm. So we tried to do everything that the streets do. Mm. And the streets was doing a lot of drugs. Mm. So we used to do these little skits before the songs of just like either acting like gangsters or or just slick talking niggas. Mm-hmm. And one of the skits we used to do was uh was about this uh this chick mm. who um we, we and she was a bitch. So, so so we pretended like like we're smoking crack cocaine. But it, wait, wait. But this was not crack back then. But did then. you it smoke was, crack cocaine at one point no, in your life? This was not crack. Oh, oh, I, right, we, cool. we, we sprinkled a little bit in the joints, but never we back never, in the we, day, we never hit the plate. So you did hit the he did hit. Yeah, okay. shit tastes good. So yeah, yeah, it was it was crazy. Okay, yeah, 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 don't, don't let it take you down though. All right, but no, look no. at this though. So um, <laughs> smoking dirties. Back yeah. then it wasn't when we was rapping this is the early eighties, it wasn't crack. It was mm. called free basing. It was free basing. It was only what, it was only what rich that. and fly, fly people did. If you was, if uh. you was f- showing off, mm. you a rich motherfucker, you free base. That was the, 
The shit and, that burnt rich prior. And, that, and, and that, that, was, that was in the pipe or that was that in was, the blunt? It was the same, the thing, as, it was the same thing as a crackhead. It was smoking the pipe, but mm. when it first came out, it came out as an elegant thing mm. that only rich people did. Hey, we, go, we about to go smoke. That was this, like, this, this was the upgrade from cocaine. Yeah, free, the free lineage of cocaine is rich people. Yeah. Freebasing was something that people openly said, oh, we're freebasing. But mm. crack was something when you turned into a crackhead. That was, that was the same fucking shit, but it just right. had a different, the hood. different right. time and era. So um, we used to mimic freebasing. Mm. So we would sit there and be like, you know, the bitch, we like, hit, I'll hit this, baby. we like, uh-huh. you know, the, the tape is about to come on, the music coming on, we're doing a skit for it, come on. Like, just hit it, hit it. And so like, <sighs> motherfucking choke and shit. And then, uh, nigga, like, bitch, you hitting, you smoking too much. And then, uh, and then my, my man, he, like, somebody be in there doing the girl voice or whatever. And then, uh, and then the shit would be like, the bitch like, <laughs> like, bitch! <laughs> like, yeah! And, then, and I swear to God, we did that skit. Let's make some noise for crack making making up the beat. <laughs> <laughs> crack cocaine did something in the world. Negative so, to a it's a negative so we did this skit so many times that the bitch just kept getting longer and longer and longer until it was just like bitch. And but then, is that your favorite word? It, it really is my favorite <laughs> word. But look at this. <laughs> but look at this. Then I got a rude awakening though because mm-hmm. I went and looked at some old Dolomite movies. Mm, it was crazy. And this nigga was saying been bitch saying way before, before you. we ever thought of it. Like this. But you the Dolomite of hip hop. You are the you are the king. You are yeah, the first name. pimp of hip hop. You are the first person that made us proud to be who you are. Where you want to be? We want to salute you, too short. Let's we want to say man. that we love you. We want to say that we want to keep continue. And you look the same. <laughs> you ain't aging. We are saluting you, my brother. You are a great guy. We love you. Drink champs, love you. Definitely. And we're going to drink some champagne. I, I've been drinking you hard. Like, I know you're up here. You, you got me a little tissue, man. I'm about to... Um... <coughs> no. What time is it? This ain't going to end with the podcast. We're going to keep it going. Oh. Yeah, you all right? Yeah, you yeah. Die? I'm never all right, right? You got pimped, man. Always almost, almost die. Yeah, we got to go get into this nightlife, man. It's a... yeah. Yo, Shout out sure. to Sidebar, Raul. What up? Yo, Raul, too short. Thank you for coming with oh, the yeah. drink champs. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I, I don't know. You all right? I just keep coughing for no reason. Smoke some weed. All right. Thank you. Too short. Can't stop coughing. Hit the weed again. <laughs> <laughs> it's like your TV show <laughs> yesterday. Oh, wait. What happened with my TV show Scarface. yesterday? I forgot. Oh, yo. We had Scarface on I talked to Face. Show. He's like, I'm in Miami, nigga. I'm like, we, yeah, 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 we, nah, just, nah. we just got off the cruise. Me, yeah, Face, yeah. Luke. We was all on this fucking cruise. You chill out. Chill out. High chill five. Out. High five. <laughs> we'll talk about that. What's up, man? Yo. Two shorts in a motherfucking building.